He looks like he's he looks like he looks like he's just like on the verge of death. Say, the, 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 what you got? $125,000 in the biggest pot we've seen so far today. And Tony G on the wrong side of it. $200,000 bet from JRB. And Rob very quickly makes the call. And we've got an $826,000 pot. Biggest pot of the night. No, he lets it go. And Keating shows. This, this time it was, yeah. Yeah, it should be two, yeah. He's, he's two. Yeah. Didn't do this time, well, this time it was. Because there's already action, so you can't change the action now. Well, one thing about you is you always know shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a cooler. Top two against bottom set. I fear for Alan Keating's stack, but boat over boat, I fear no more. Keating is going to win a huge one. Well, the only guy putting real chips in the, in the pot. And you guys are all sitting there <laughs> snug, snuggling it up and then and, and, and don't want to fucking... Okay. Don't worry about it, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck 220 after after playing eight minutes. And you guys want to change the uh, change lines. It's all right. Go ahead. You guys start rocking and rolling and then have something to say. And JRB is going to call quickly... And aces for max value. Wow, aces, that, that's a setup. Right. Oh. Oh, he's so fucking lucky. Look at this. I, I, I am about to whinge about how little I want in the hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> JRB's the best. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it's just like a fucking three on the river, you just I get him for like a two hundred ball. Nick Airball with jocks. Oh, okay. Where do you? I don't, I don't he's gonna muck. Yep. You gotta get a change of scenery. What's that? You gotta get a change of scenery. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. I like people like that. Sick of nuts. He could have. He could have had it. And he would have flopped a set of jocks here. And he's going to get paid off. Rampage here. Trips over trips. And he lays it down. Wow. And of course, Airball has Hold to show. Aces. Fucking stinks. That looked like a fucking setup hand. That's not like fucking unbelievable. That's just not, not normal. I folded aces. That's like fucking sick. Okay. I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit. I, quit. I, I play, I play, I quit. It's okay, I quit. I play. On your bike! <laughs> On your bike, Tony! You and your aces! Back to Santa Monica! <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I have never seen that. Yeah, yeah. Gonna... Hey, pay if he That's. I <laughs> know. <laughs> and that's why it's great for the game. <laughs> Not that I care. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, so happy to bluff the guy. I, were, I didn't know about the stand up game. I showed it. Ah. So, <laughs> so, so Boogie looks like he just you ran three miles on the beach in the middle of, the middle of summer. What's up? Yes. Oh, she's got the ace. Damn it. Oh, I didn't think she had it. Nice hand, man. Oh. The DK is going to take this one down. So that's the stand-up game too. That's that caused Alex to do that. I think she's still looking for her marker along with Raver, Hillary, and I believe Brazil God. Mean bad. Yeah, is he scared? You think? Yeah, he's scared. Yeah, I was scared. He, he's trying to make the, the nuts, otherwise he doesn't bet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's 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 he's scared. He's scared that you might check mm. raise bet bet with him, right? Yeah. Scared. Yo, this is out of line. This is out of line. 
I'm dumber than I look. <laughs> well done, Wesley. <laughs> well done, Wesley. <laughs> I think everyone else was three bed with ice cream. What? Except for you. <laughs> everyone else except you with three bed with ice cream. Um, Are you deaf? Yes. Mm. Ah, little bit Chinese, real bad. Yeah. Look at that look. Pretty good. So, Shimi, you're in trouble the rest of the way. Oh, oh there's a Jack. Come and see one go GTM. What's called? Yeah. Today, Jack go looks hard. Wow. Oh, oh and there's the, another Jack. Emergency school. And Sashimi needs a king, or Peter is going to scoop, and he does. Gets it in bad. And wins a pot of almost $133,000. Uh, so Nick does get the scoop. Brittany finds both the fours. Oh, he folds! Wow, I did not see that coming. And of course, we're gonna have to take a closer look. Five. Hey, 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 that's you, that's you, now, that's you. Now six yeah. will come, see. Okay, Satoshi. Two pair. <laughs> For Satoshi and Anthony looks sick. Now six will come. Oh, nine! He's Trip dead! Nines. He's dead! <laughs> What's Mariano doing? What is, why is he smiling? It's snapped off by Charles's flush. And Charles wins a $142,000 pot with seven deuce of clubs. Walker, did you put What a strange hand. Do you Do you think your blockers work here, Professor? Class doesn't come my way. All right. What is going on here? Oh, you got some right here. <laughs> so painful, man. Looks like he's gonna release, and we're gonna see it. And both Mars and Andy are gonna jump out of their seats. Let's gamble. Oh my God! Fuck, man, I knew it. I, I, I had a feeling too, Mars. It's seven five. It's not even five eight. Three nine, right? I have three sides. Go ahead. God damn. Not even and five eight. I open to the black, black. Back it up. Look at this. Oh, oh, man. oh my god. You win. Oh, the ace on the turn. Wow. Oh, you win. Oh, you win. Oh, you You win. Oh, 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 he calls! Look at that! Shit, how can you get aces so easily? Max value! You had a bear you got, I can have. Lucas got an 80. Keith, you're, I mean, you have an out. Keith! Oh my god. I can have it, I'm so guilty. Two points, anyone can get it. Nice, him. Gave him another 10k, Ling Ling, do something. Queens again, Finally, Professor does let it go. What a bluff from Stanley. Oh, there's a bluff? Bluff. Hey, hey. Nicely screen. done. Yeah, I almost called. But somehow I changed my mind in the last minute. There's sunburn. Oh, he breaks oh. out. Yeah. Six, three o'clock. Since three o'clock? Oh yeah, they had to get oh, on. I can fucking remember. That's a lot to miss. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Ling Ling. Work hard. So Thank you. Can't fucking get it. Poor dude. <laughs> Not for me, this guy. Jeremy, look who's good. No, no, you still hate your seat. Your old friend, Magic. I know, he was trying to steal JTC. Comes and goes. 
Give me a 40k. Not for me, this guy. Well, I don't think Jeremy, look who's doing it. You still hate your seat? Your old friend, Magic. I know, he was trying to steal JTC. Comes and goes. Give me a 40k. Well, there's an eight. He doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah, he makes the gutter. All in. And all in. It's only 138,000. Yeah. You don't let it go correctly. Lock, 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 lock. Might have been a bluff on the turn and then value on the river. Good read. I mean, spot on. They're, they're going to split this three ways. Ridiculous. What a run out. I mean, this is a chop. So sick. Chop it up. I oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He wrote this thing. I thought it was dead. Yeah. Oh, my God. I flopped it. That's what I said. Hillary and Nate are both tilted for different reasons. <laughs> the last time I had Aces here the other week, I lost too. Oh, there's 34,000 people. Just try to do a physically. Just try. What? You gotta try to do a physically. Hey, hard to be a physically. Ooh, there you uh -oh. go. What? Talk to him. Lock yeah. in. Just try. You, you wanna try to be a physically? Yeah, try, try, try. Hit me. We can go outside if yeah, you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me. Try. Come outside. Try. Try. Come at him. Ball? Hit me. Alright, no balls. No balls. Oh, this is out of line. Look at Luis coming. He's running in. I'm he said you love to hurt me physically. Then he opened up his body. You saw how he opened up his body? I saw that. He said, hit me. Lock in. And he started talking to Nick. I was talking to Nick, and he started talking to Nick. Nah, you weren't talking to Nick. Stop it. It just felt like it was building. Christian, who do you got in a fist fight? I don't know. Dude. I got Wesley, man. Wesley, Wesley's, Wesley's locked in. Fierce. He turned his body and said, do something. They really go at it, right? He wasn't passive about it. Yeah, big pot energy here. This looks like it's probably going to ball in. It is. Rip it. All of it. 715,000 in the middle. Two boards, Sammy. Oh! Wow. Man. Oh. The River Queen. How much can you buy him for? As much as you want. Third. Third best player in China. I don't think Wesley counts as a player. You have to play hands to be a player. He's a spectator that sits at the table. I don't see how he can fold Chuck. Oh, you got it, you got it. There you go, you got it, you got it. And he does have it. Wow. Good hand. That's the cooler we've been waiting for for two days. It was bound to happen. You play enough poker, you see enough hands, it's going to happen. Can't really beat much. He, he lets it, it down. go. Ben making all the wrong moves right now. I didn't wow. think there was a world where he folded that. Hey, Ty. Yeah, he's hey, tilted Ty. out of his mind right now. He's going to take a walk. Up. There's the Ben tilt walk. I mean, I would I like to say one I thing. Just lost like a I, don't I would probably fold there. I would probably fold there. I can't remember. Yes, yes, it is. You would get a play on the top. I'd I, I, I I never get told by a word. I sure, oh. dude, are you kidding me? I, I sure as hell would. Airball. I know, even if I'm wrong, Rick, Rick would be happy for me to call, even if I'm wrong. I know that. Sick hearing this. And he'd be really pissed if Warren. I pulled. Clock. Airball calls the clock. Desperation move. How many seconds? Hands dead. Nick Airball gets it through. You guys all are playing tight. Let's play, let's fucking gamble. Come on, Jeremy, call. Rick's screaming at you. Listen to your boss, call. Come on, Huss. But if you let me call, I would've called. Airball. Let's go. What a Four timely clock Let's call. Let's bluff, come on. I think that was the difference. Put these guys to the test, Rob. Let's show them how bosses play. You were right, Rick. I should have listened to you. Rick, that was for you, baby. Call. You win. Mm, slow roll. Place. Good call, Wesley. You finally put money in the pot. Well done, Wesley. Yeah. You can see him saying whatever he wants about me. If he wants to put on my mom, then... Yeah, he crossed the line. What you gonna do? 
Okay. Don't talk to him. I'm, I'm not gonna not talk to him. Hey, just talk. Right? I'm not gonna not talk to him. <laughs> and he's gonna fold, and Rampage gets it through. Oh my God! Unbelievable. We got a game! Wow! Hand of the weekend. Kids got heart. Did I lost a 25 picture? No, you blinded it after. <laughs> Come on, Wes. You, you can't just give him the, the alley oop like that. At the end of the stand up game. Heads up for rolls. Yeah, okay. that's yeah. heads up for a mill. So at the end of the stand-up game, they're going to play one-hour heads up. An Is hour? Hands is stuck. Hands is like, he's smiling, but he's hating it. He's like, really? I'm losing, man? Uh, I feel like it's a bluff. Bluff? No one-time bluff. Oh, but you want to see it here? Uh, <laughs> Shout out is really wrong. Queen Deuce. I actually going to bluff no matter what. Duh. Tilting. My Come hand. here, God damn it. Win 13,000 with the third best hand in a three-way pot. You do? I had the best. You locked it up. See, my stand's dirty. He locked it up, buddy. Right now, all you have to do is just say raise, he full. <laughs> 274,000. <laughs> Let's see if he's going to get a raise in here. No, he's just going to call the entire way. Smooth call the entire way in a $200,000 pot for Tony G. Bro, you know what they asked me? I got called, I said, they woke me up with a call, they said there might be a seat for you. 20 minutes later, I was here with a beer in my hand, ready to go. We've I seen... nearly folded. If you bet 160, I'd wow. put you down like, mm. you just didn't bet enough. That was one of the bigger... If you overbet the pot, I would have folded. I think I can bluff sometimes. Wow, I was going to show it. It's scary when they call your cards out and you're bluffing, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not money until you have to explain it to your wife. <laughs> Just kidding, she doesn't get it. I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to trap you because I think you're weak. Look at those chips. Just stacks and stacks. I gotta make rent this month. Clock, everybody clock. Me! Hold! Hold! Chop, 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 chop. DK's gonna win it with a pair of deuces and collect the bounty. Thank you, baby. Thank you. What an absurd head. Thank you so much. And he's angling me in the fucking three seat. It's over. 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 Same hand? It's no out. It's over. Luda, I sweat the hand. Seven, eight, I saw five or three. I am the best sweater. <laughs> it's over. I don't know. I should have. I should have gone all in on the turn. I'm, I'm and then the card came and I thought that you would just call. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing here. And every time I see her, you have to bring your beast, dude. I swear to God. And Randall is sick. felted by Ludacris. Sick, I mean, so sick. God. Not me! Not me! Not me! She freaking hits it. There's the Doom Zoom. Now she's gonna do me. Oh my god. See you at the butt. And Charles, not in love with this spot. Even with trips. She shoves. And a snap call. 105,000 in a four bet pot between Jack 10 suited and 9 5 offsuit. Wow. Are you not entertained? The river is it, Jack Tom? Jack? It's the full house. Punishes Anthony. Charles with the full house. No good. Unbelievable hand. Professor is going to throw up. 
What is you doing? You what nothing? Is it sure. What is that one? One more you need? One more you need! <laughs> Shows okay. an eight. What is that? You need one more? Uh, one more, yeah. No, no. Come on, dude. <laughs> Shows, Shows him a full house. No. No, man. Show that you beat that, alright, let's go next year. You beat this? Let's wow. see, I don't believe it. What is going on? I've never one seen one this point. before. If you show me that, he's gonna have that beat. If you show me that, he's gonna have me that beat. Thank you. Finally. Finally. She didn't even give me a second to moan about it. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. See? That's me. See? That's me. See? See? <laughs> Fuck you, Get the, no. Get the member out of off the body.
only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. Never fall. Lord to the game and the bankroll. We gon' add it up when we get low. I know my life is black, I'm a chat pro. All in, let's go. Monday through Friday, what should we do? Catch us streaming live right on YouTube. ACL family, this is our house. Keating on the show, bet it all now. J Boogie, walk away, never overplay. Max value, max pain, this is not a game. Hit that thumbs up, let's go for a ride. Come and join the stream, we're starting at five. Raise it up. Chat Pro. From high above Hustler Casino here in beautiful Los Angeles, this is Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I'm Charlie Wilmoth, and I'm excited because tonight's lineup brings together some of the toughest, most creative players in the Southern California poker scene. So pour yourself a pint of Guinness, settle in for the next six hours as we see who has the luck of the Irish on their side this Friday evening here on Hustler Casino Live. And here we are inside the crystal room at Hustler Casino. These players <coughs> look ready to get these cards in the air here shortly. You see Art Papazian, Henry, Dylan joining us. And yeah, this is an exciting lineup. A lineup where we're going to see some really aggressive and fun poker. And I'm excited to see how this evening develops. So let's check out our lineup. We've got Henry, Henry, who's a finance professional, C2. Regular here on Hustler Casino Live, of course. Art Papazian, two-time WPT winner and well-known player from years ago on Los Angeles poker streams. Dylan Flashner, actor and producer in seat five. Tom, poker enthusiast from Dubai, who's been on the show a couple times lately. A very tough player. He gives a lot of action. And Dan, an internet entrepreneur, I, I believe is from Toronto, also a very tough player. So great lineup here tonight. We're going to be playing 50 100 with a $100 big blind Nancy. A couple other players are going to be joining us. Stacks ranging from $20,000 up to $50,000. It wasn't yours, it was this guy. Yeah. Oh, you played stellar. Yeah. As always, for sure. I'd like to see you play black at one time. Blackout. Yeah. Dylan, opening things up here tonight. I do. The pocket uh, pair. There's obviously like a. If I have two drinks, I play better, and then after that, it kind of goes and down. And Art, looking down at the Cowboys in his first hand to here tonight. And there's the three bet. Are you known to and Dylan with position. I in probably will peel here. Art's three bet is kind of big, but. Dylan definitely does not mind trying to flop a six here. Thank you. 
Art bets half pot. And Dylan will get out of the way as two overs to his sixes come out. Art, of course, known for battling some of the best players in L.A. Mostly off stream over these past few years. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm surprised. What is? Yes. Never good to win the first hand. It's always good to win the first hand? Never. It's never good? Never, never. never. Even, even during first round, not good to win. Every hand is different, no? Or no? No. I guess not. You didn't play live games lately, yeah? You forgot about this rule. <laughs> I haven't played live game in a long time. Uh, live poker in a long time, yeah, so yeah, I don't know. Second hand, I'll take a break. <laughs> Race from Henry. Dylan defends. Here and there. Interesting flop. Flush draw for Dylan. Top pair for Henry. PlayStation? Is it PlayStation? PlayStation. Three. Yeah. How'd you know? I read. It's a good read, actually. Good read. <laughs> and trips now for Henry. <laughs> Pretty irritating card for Dylan. When you're drawing, you don't want to see the board pair. But Dylan does get there on the river. Does he go for a lead here? Two. He does fire, and this would be a very tight fold from Henry, but what is Dylan representing here? What bluffs does he have? Yeah. Henry does pay it off, understandable. gambler. <laughs> what is the limit? If I put straddle, you put a straddle? Every time. If I put straddle 800, you put 1600? Every time. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll try it. <laughs> to, to see if it's... Is it five? Five Race from Henry and... Dan defends. For people saying that this is a a small game, I mean it's it's frequently the case on Fridays that we have people buying in for 20k. It's not uncommon. For sure, after one hand they could be together, <laughs> right? together there. In a couple hours, I would imagine these stacks will be much deeper. Race from Art, and Dan, not one to shy away from a three bet. Art with not one of his better opens, lets it go. Tom opens it up. <laughs> Dan with another three bet. I wonder if these players have watched Dan's hands from 
earlier appearances on stream. He's very talented, very aggressive. So a bet from Dan and Tom with a four makes the call. Dan's going to keep firing. Thinks he's going to have the better over pairs in his range. He'll have ace five as well. And just Dan. Empty the clip here. Okay. Sides against it. Okay. And Tom's going to take this mm. one down. 13K pot. Lucky river. Feels like on Blanc you will, <laughs> will make me feel to have a hard decision. I'm yeah, maybe. Three. Is that 10 hundred? 10 hundred. So $400 straddle on it would appear. It's a $300 big blind. Interesting. Okay. So an open from Dylan here who flops middle pair, top pair for Dan, who actually doesn't three bet the ace queen. Checks over to Dan, bets, Dylan calls. Bunch of interesting things could have happened for Dylan on the turn, but that nine is not one of them. No reason for Dan not to feel like he has the best hand. That's pretty small, but Dylan still lets this go. I'm only playing like two hours and something. I have a dinner plan. Okay. So yeah. win or lose, I leave. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I give it to you. This is L, Crypto Trader. I believe this is his first appearance on HCL. But he's been on some other streams. Very tough, creative player. Okay. Loose and aggressive. Check. And uh, a good addition to the show for sure. Race from Henry. Four. Art with a three bet. Henry holds the king nine suited. He was dominated. When I lived in Dubai, everything was very close, like maximum half an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I've been oh, everywhere yeah. and I've been nowhere. I don't know. Still playing five games? No, 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 no. If I was, I'd be broke. Yeah, I heard some bad news. No? With, with who? With me? You, yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's probably true. Fifty-one-one. <laughs> yeah. Correct. 
Race from L. Defend from Tom and does not flop much. Does turn a seven though. It's L checks back the flop for pot control. Checks down to the river and seven's gonna be good. or something? Yeah. Lost 400. Uh, damn. <laughs> These players perhaps trying to figure out how much they played against each other. Thinking about quitting. Hmm? Thinking about quitting. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed wise maybe at this point. <laughs> that game is a little bit tough. You know everyone in the club or not? I don't know everyone. That's know. Not really, that's very dangerous though, yeah. So we would very much appreciate it if you could bank that like button for us. Help us bring our free poker streams to a larger audience. All right. 27. 27. Race from L. Dylan calls. Tom three bets. Dylan will not speculate. All right, blinds are back now. I'll pull it from over there. Very light raise from Tom here. And not much Al can do with, on this flop, I don't think. So beautiful. His third three bed of the evening, I believe. Yeah, three. Henry has had enough of Dan's shenanigans. Art now in a rough spot with King Jack suited. Ordinarily, definitely a hand you want to play, obviously, but facing a three bet and a four bet. Probably best to let it go, even though we, we see that in this case, that hand would have been in very good shape. Dan out of the way as Henry's four bet with Queen Jack offsuit gets through. I'm thinking about it, huh? Yeah. That pretty one. Oh, yeah. Pretty one. Uh, nice. Again? Oh, okay. He parked his car badly. Mm -hmm. He parked his car badly. 
No? <laughs> Dan did promise to restraddle every time Tom straddles. Henry just calling with the Queens, sees the amount of three betting at this table, and it's clearly making some pretty significant adjustments. No three bet this time, though. Queens still in pretty good shape. L raises, Dan calls. Sorry about that, buddy. Top pair for L. Flush draw for Dan. Look who's here. 500. 500. There's something funny about his, like, face, demeanor. <laughs> demeanor. <laughs> You don't, even, you don't even know what I'm. Adam. You don't even know how lit I am right now. Adam. Are you lit? Oh, cheers. Yes. Hey, don't find So L keeps firing here. I think a lot of players would consider checking back, but I think L sees the number of draws that could potentially be out there and thinks it's going to be easier to get value from those hands now. So I walked up to the lady and I was like, where, where is the live with the bike at? <laughs> where is this bike at? Whiff for Dan. I'm not even kidding. And they looked at me and I was like, oh, wait, my bad, hustler. But I haven't slept in like 15 hours. This that's, is a joke. That's too funny. King high. And it goes King check, high. check. Al's going to win this one. So. Got a new player joining us. This is Adam <laughs> OG, who has $3.7 million in live tournament caches. What are you guys playing? 51. Fuck it, bro. Come get it, fuckers. That's probably the worst option right there. I know. That's a straddle, right? 300. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a taxi. <laughs> What a scam. Oh, of course I got a straddle. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> How often do you get to be the small one? Oh, in line, playing with art right here. Oh, man. I wish you I could raise are, it. I swear. There's no way. You guys are pussies, man. I have four high, bro. I can't raise it. I had it. it. 16. That's a good hand. I'm playing blackjack today. You guys keep hand. playing this poker shit. I would have fucking surrendered. Are you guys going to No, I might have, I might have hit. Yeah. <laughs> you guys raise, I'm I hitting. Think, yeah, I think I hit that. Suited, I'm hitting. Oh, sure. For sure. Straddle. If I was off suit, I would have surrendered. For six. Don't let Is me there, get, like, water here or something? Don't yeah, let me get 20. Right there's a fridge? Damn, you guys are fancy. Like, Where, are Straddle. these card readers? Where's the card reader? Mm -hmm. It just knows? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm used to like putting it on a thing, you know? Like, even if they're like just chilling on top of each other, you know? Yeah, you have to turn it off. Oh, okay. So Art gets another chance with the King Jack suited here. But Henry. No, but like, usually it's a box and box. Has Ace King. 
Don't see Art folding this time. He's going to call. And does Dan want to set mine here? He does. Why not? And an ace for Henry. Does Art have cooking up here in the tank with the king high? Three ways. Does have backdoor diamonds, but I don't really know how you can continue. Does let it go, and Dan will. I was going to say he's likely to get out of the way, but maybe not. Actually, he's going to raise. This is funky. Thinks that Henry is going to be betting this spot a ton. And that he'll probably fold everything that hasn't hit this board. Unfortunately for Dan, Henry has it. And I don't really see a scenario where... Henry just gives Dan credit for an eight and lets it go. Certainly not at this depth. Call from Henry. And Dan with about pot behind. Does he want to continue this adventure? Like, I, I did like an MRI in, in America, and like it took forever to get my results. And like, like, no. I went out there to do an MRI. It was 500 bucks. And I think from Henry's perspective, this is rarely an ace worse than yours. This is usually an eight or a bluff. So it makes sense to me that Henry chooses to check back the turn. Dan just has four high now, but does not bluff the river. Henry obviously going to be betting now. When did you hurt him? Uh, July last year. And after Dan checks the turn, it does not look to me like he has an eight. And against the player who's really aggressive, I kind of like just going really small here. Henry bets 7,500. And not really enough behind for Dan to do much of anything in response to this bet. He lets it go. Nice pot for Henry as Dan steps out of line. Race from L. What? Art folding Queen Nine suited, which is not likely to make the chat pros very happy. 
Rebound from Dan. As usual, I'll be making a recording of myself saying those words so that I can save some energy tonight. As Dan, three bets. 75, 100, 150 times for the evening. Eight for L. What a beast. <laughs> Bets and takes it down. So Henry, the big winner so far, up thirteen thousand dollars. Dan had twenty-one. An aggressive start to the evening, but he's down twenty-three k. I'll straddle five. So race from Tom. Henry and Art make the call. And 10 still good here. Tom checks back. Sort of a pretty, pretty far ahead, pretty far behind situation with pocket 10s. And with two aggressive opponents in the hand, I don't mind checking again here. But I can see the logic for betting Nine. as well. Nine. Thank you. Thank you. Art continues the pair of eights. And hits two pair on the river. Tom, a very aggressive player. Does he think he can eke out a little bit more value here? He's absolutely fearless with these kinds of value bets, but unluckily for him, Art's caught up on the river. Tom's line does not look overly strong. Does Art think he can squeeze in a raise here? He does, and both these plays are things we don't routinely see here on HCL. Tom going for two streets of value after checking the flop on this board with effectively second pair. And Art going for a raise here. Really puts Tom in a tough spot because he kind of capped himself on the flop by checking back. Took the best hands out of his range. And now does he think that Art's just getting out of line because of that? All in. Wow, he's going to shove. Blocking 10-9 with two 10s in his hand. I did not see that coming. And Art does not have oh, much you, behind, you but he quickly nine, folds. Nine, wow. Nine. <laughs> what a play from nine, Tom. Nine. Ah, one nine. You got fucking 10s, baby. 
gets Art to fold two pair after putting in four, four, five. something like 40% of his chips. <sighs> nice time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Secret, bro. Dude, come on, man. I'm too high. Very high level play from Tom. Sorry, I'm high. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Autism is real, my man. As Art reaches in the bag for more chips. I thought that's what he was doing. Did add on anyway. Huh? Oh, you can't confuse me like that today. Come on. <laughs> and you saw how quickly Art <laughs> folded there. I mean, Tom just found a line that no one is really bluffing in. Great way to play against a very tough player like Art. Show them something that they never see as a bluff. And they will fold so oh, fast. Immediately. We're gonna play around. You guys wanna play around with straddles? Oh, yeah. Are you guys okay with just running against just leaving it on? Hey, that's nice. No. I'm in. I'm in. Everyone's good? Okay, cool. Great, so they're adding the two of Nice. Straddle, 400 to go. Bro, a second time you don't put the straddle. Sorry, yeah, I was I, trying to. I don't believe you anymore. <laughs> And you could do it like I would. I would do it. So what's, so the, what's the deal? Every time it's going to uh, be eight hundred. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know if the stacks are going to be making sense. No, no. I, I'm just. I always do this. I'm just checking. I'm just, I'm just checking you. <laughs> How big you're gonna? You can go. That's fair. Okay. Raise from Dan. Dylan makes the call. And trip queens for Dan. But nothing there for Dylan. Horrible flop around here. Is it Andy? One more. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Straddle, 400. Nice. Hell yeah. Respect your struggle, but you don't respect my limb. <laughs> How much? Dan getting crazy here with the 9 6 off. Okay. Still respect. <laughs> and hard to make a pair. As Dan steamrolls his way to a small win there. Bubba says Art is a definite crusher, mostly tourneys, though, from what I've seen. Uh, he won two. WPT championships. That was years ago, though, and I think now mostly plays in the quieter corners of the Los Angeles cash game poker scene. Tweets a lot about looking for action and 
not always being able to find it because he's well known to be a very, very good player. 20. But mostly a cash player. Playing blackjack today. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not playing poker. Just blackjack. I didn't have 21 when he popped it, so I only had 20, so it felt like a 21 needed to be necessary for that one, for the 35. <laughs> I would have guessed you're more of a background player. I had natural. I was kind of playing both. <laughs> I hope you had blackjack when you made it 35. L with big slick. Because I had 20 I only. Huh? I did. I had 20. <laughs> <laughs> I had, a really, I, had a, I had a good 20, though. Strong 20. Tom makes the call. Does not find a deuce. Top pair for L. Tom wants to go. opens and runs into Henry's Kings. And L has a real hand as well. Facing a raise in a three bet, does he want to put in the cold four here? Yes. Goes pretty small, which makes sense. <laughs> About 20% of his chips. No, I just forgot to add it. I was supposed to things approach that 20 to 25% threshold. Maybe 25, 26%. You want to either stay beneath it or go for a jam. So does Henry want to just ship the money in here now or just call? I think against a player like L who can be wider than most in this spot, just calling makes a lot of sense. But Henry disagrees. He goes all in. And that might just allow L to get away. in the tank about it though. Ace Queen is the kind of hand that's actually pretty unpleasant to turn up with here because you're sort of in the low middle portion of 
your range. Like not the bottom, not a hand that would be easy to fold, like ace five suited or something like that. But not a hand that feels great about calling either. Dominated by aces through queens and ace king. You also block a lot of those hands though, and L makes the call. 60,000 in the pot. Now run it twice. Henry in a great spot here. L needs an ace, doesn't find one. They'll run this out again, but Henry will get to take his chips back here. Queen for L, not enough on its own. He does not get there against Henry. And no tens, no nines, no eights. Henry stacks no L. No sevens. That's why you're thinking. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Too many hands, no. That's why you think. Ace, queen suited. Wow, bro, you're really good. You're really, really good. I had nine, ten off. You're really good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's still that hand, yeah? This hand. Uh, you fold the nine, ten off? Really I didn't know it was a thing. You fold it, yeah? Crazy. Oh, hi. Oh, what an egg. I know, I'm you too high. Yeah, so, Henry. <laughs> now up 42 grand. He's the big winner so far tonight. Tom also up a significant amount. And on the other side, L stuck 25K, Dan down 18,000. It's okay, I save, I save money. Uh, uh, they might all fold it if I raise, you never know. I'll fold this one in, okay? So did you make some final table? Rockets for art. He's going to three bet Dan here. And Dan with what looks to mortals like you and I like a pretty easy fold, but you never know what kind of craziness he's going to come up with. Not this time, though. And I tell them, it's okay, you're, I'm only 22.7%. I know what story, story you're saying, it's hilarious. <laughs> and it was like really... I'm 22.7, exactly. Google it. I was high, throwing out a number. You're too good, bro. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Six. 22.7, wow. 22.7. Yeah, Brian, you know Brian Ross? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he's in the booth and he goes, whoa. Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> whoa. He's not how close how accurate it is. Another big pair for Art. And the black jack. Thank God I couldn't hear any of that. Yeah, can you mute him? <laughs> <laughs> Get some action from Tom. Bet from Art and Tom continues with a gutter, which he hits. The nuts for Tom. Check. Art now checks. He's behind 
A ton of stuff now. Wow, and Tom checks it back. That's interesting. So Tom took a very creative bluff line against Dart just moments ago, and now he's getting funky with his value also. Art is going to go for a little bit of value. Try to squeeze a little value out of maybe a nine, maybe a hand like jack 10. Art with two of the jacks, of course. Now Tom shoves. And this has to be so annoying from Art. His second time facing an all-in from Tom. Made the wrong decision last time. And quickly folded, but this time Tom's got it. Art does not have that much behind. certainly have trips in this situation. Mm. Tough to know. Tough to know what to do here. Perhaps wondering if Tom could be taking another really creative bluff line with something like 10-9 suited. Um. Although that seems pretty wild. You have it when you sit up. Huh? So I feel like you have it when you sit up. He does have it. I feel that you want to call, but you don't want to call. Uh, I mean, in this case, call one time from two times. In this case, if if I if I think you're gonna bluff, then I can call sometimes, but. If you're never gonna bluff, then I should never call, I guess. Uh, I can just have a queen. Art saying that he would just call down when he has trips, which he certainly could. I wonder what the stream's gonna say. <laughs> Depends if I made a good fold or okay. not. <laughs> That's what I mean. And <laughs> it's all dependent if I made a good fold or not. This is, the actual play is not, not relevant. <laughs> Art made the wrong decision last time, but gets this one right. I'm at much you more. Queen? No. Oh. What do you show? You show pink card. Spin and win with a new out of this world feature on WPT Global. 
Global Spins give you the chance to invest a little and win galaxy-sized prizes. To celebrate the launch, WPT Global is giving away over $18,000 every week. Get in on the action by using the code HUSTLER and get our welcome package with deposit match and a chance to win Global Spins tickets. That's right, WPT Global will match your deposit with the first time bonus. Sign up now for the welcome package at WPTglobal.com using code HUSTLER. I guess he says that. It's not too good. Okay, okay, thank you. It's possible, it's possible, yeah. So many variances. You just never know, you know? Till we go home. Race from L here, and no action. You can see, bro. You can see. Bad for the cameras, I guess, is what they say. Yeah, 300 stand up. 300 stand up. It's only, yeah? Yeah. Yellow. Are we just doing regular or progressive? Or the oh, progressive would be fun. I don't know how to play progressive, to be honest. I've never played it's it. It's just whoever, the last one who doesn't have a button pays, and he adds 20 buttons and so much time. Um, let's just stick with the regular. Yeah. I guess we could start with the regular and then go. Hey, yeah, let's start with yeah. Sounds reasonable. Yeah, first time for regular. Uh, Don't forget, it's the straddle and top. 300, just no progressive, just one time. So the stand up game is on. 300 apiece. What's, I don't know what flip is. Sometimes they do a PLO flip. You can add 300 to it and you can flip for it. Mm. But we can just pay it out if you want to yeah, just pay I'm, okay it out. With I'm down for whatever. <laughs> I had 10 forward diamonds, I wanted to limp it in, alright? I'll get you. Yeah, yeah. stand up game. You decided to call, to raise? No, I limp. Limp, okay. I limp everything, who gives a shit? Okay. For 400? Limp raise. Ooh. You have this in your arsenal? They're stand up game, you can do anything, dude, who gives a shit? You can just go all in. <laughs> yeah, blind. <laughs> Whatever, it's only 20,000. Raise from L. Five hundred. These are hundreds, right? Oh. I don't want to put them in five thousand. Adam in there. Sometimes so. Anyway. Henry makes the call as well. Check. Check. And L with the best spade. Four hundred. Henry with the best hand at the moment. Especially now. Now keeps bluffing after picking up a gutter. Thanks, <laughs> 
And the Jack of Spades gives Ella a flush. He's got Henry Pitt. Does he think he could squeeze out some value here after betting the flop and the turn? Yes, a third pot. And it gets paid off. Nice little river bet from L, who is the first to pick up his marker. Wow. Last race. Seven off. You? Oh. Standard. Yeah. Open from Dylan. Two, two. And Tom. Jack five offsuit. Raises it up. Let's go. Hand up. Dylan makes the call. A couple of non premium hands here, but a jack for Tom. Dylan catches up on the turn check. after Tom checks back. Check, check. And one liner to a queen now. Check. Who wins? Tom checks it back, and Dylan Pace. is going to get his marker. I think you're supposed to bust this one, man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Looks so. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. Maybe you're a king. Maybe you're a king four. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I can't get less ace. No, you can't. King four. I'm trying to give you some pressure here. Rockets now for Dylan. <laughs> Relax, man. I know. I God know. Of pants. <laughs> Fuck. I know. I have no chill on me. 1800. <laughs> you both got a bunny. He's sick. You guys are just playing regular poker. <laughs> Dan with a three bet and Art has kings. This is kind of boring. Aces against kings. Oh, and Art with just 1% equity. One of the kings is dead at least. Awful spot, spot here for Art. It's already run into some really rough situations here tonight. Cold four bet from Art. Dylan loving this situation. Might think that Either Dan or Art could be a little bit out of line here because of the stand-up game. He's just going to call. 
Let these players bluff if they're bluffing. And I think Dan has enough information now to get out of here. Dylan with 94% equity three ways. What a dream. What is Dan thinking about here? He has a hand that plays horribly against most normal cold four bet and call ranges. But the stand-up game does funny things to people. And in goes the money, a three-way all-in as Dan blows up a little bit here. And I'm, I'm ahead, yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Art in an awful spot. Kings against aces. Yeah, it's fine. What a spot for Dylan. Toughest call I have all day. I mean, you could lose. I could definitely lose. <laughs> I've seen worse, trust me. You want to see like an ace, ace, three flop. Let's go first yeah. one for sure. First one for and the then button. probably some paints to give you guys a chance. That's a little dicey. And a, a diamond for Dan. Like an eight and a, five. a diamond would win it for Dan with king, queen off. <laughs> but Dylan's All right, that's one. aces are good on the first run out. <laughs> and a great second flop for Dylan. And he's going to win a $70,000 pot here. Stacking art, getting a huge chunk of chips from Dan as well. I shouldn't have mucked my hand. Yeah, why did you muck? You kept some side foot. Two, four, six, and this is, you know, or in this game, how do they do it? If you okay. hand, you're just out, put this on screen, you know? I just know. Art saying he should have folded kings uh, there. Henry, what are they doing in that situation? Have that ever happened that. before? No, i never seen it. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> 22. Oh, I should have mucked my hand. Wow, what did you do? Yeah, I just, uh, I just wonder if it ever happened in that situation. It feels weird. It is. Yeah. 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 I do have four times with that, yeah. You have more? Yeah. And then you just put on that 10, didn't you? Yeah. Wow, what you Is my hand dead? Yeah, you must be. All right, whatever. How much is it? 22,900. What more do you have? Not that much. <laughs> and I think Dylan cold calling that four bet. He went to tilt here. Play a show. Got Dan to put in a ton of money that he probably shouldn't have. And that's a great way to deal with a very aggressive opponent like Dan. Give them rope. Appreciate it. Art's going to reach in that bag again. 20. So Dylan, now up 44,000. Henry having a nice night so far as well. Dan stuck 41,000 and Art down 40,000. A lot of chips moving around in this first hour and a half. Appreciate it. This very yeah, tough game. It doesn't feel real at the can, moment. I can tell that look at Here tonight on HCL. No, I really didn't. I didn't I Someone didn't. got ace, king of yeah. diamonds, exactly. That's the only hand I lose it's to you, but somebody hand. got it. <laughs> somebody got ace eight. Dan playing 53% of hands. I'm the straddle. Yeah, you're the two dealer. Any change? Yeah. Here I got you. Adam OG, for all of his talk, has only played 16% of hands so far, but it's early. Where is it? 
200? 100, 101? Yeah, you're 100. Where is it? Five hundo. No, I call it, yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you said raise five hundred like about thirty seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go, go. Race from Adam. Henry calls. Check. Check. So it seems like, and I didn't catch this at the time, but it seems like Art mucked his hand. Of course, he was losing to Dylan, but may have lost out on a side, a small side pot against Dan. It's the sort of thing that even ex an experienced player can do in a big spot like that when their synapses are firing and your first thought is that, oh, I lost. So Adam OG does not improve enough here to beat Henry. Oh. And Adam's going to pay off a value bet here as Henry collects his marker. What a start for French? Dylan. The waters. Oh, okay. Actor and producer who's been firing pretty hard here on Hustler Casino Live water, over the past couple months. Gets put in this very tough lineup and is thriving so far after running aces into Arts Kings. If I run out of money, I have to go home. But yeah, on that side pot, you can never go too wrong just showing your cards when it's a multi-way all-in. Let the dealer sort it out. Because the moment after you think you lost an all-in is really not the point at which you're thinking the most clearly. I know I'm not. Rebot from Art, who's rebot for 20k. Mel has a real hand here. Art is not incredibly deep. And L is just going to shove. As Art's knight keeps getting worse. You're supposed to tell us when you add chips. Maybe like six or something, seven, eight. Um, Chess Pru says, I think you meant the neurons are firing, not the synapses. <laughs> I'm not a scientist, right okay? A, but thank you. What the hell, Art? What'd you have? I had Jack Land Diamonds. I had Jack Land of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I had Jack Seven of Clubs. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just dead free flop. I'm <laughs> yeah, you have no Jacks left. Oh, yeah. man, it's Stenner's game. Fucking take a peek. No, I, I forgot we were playing that dumb game. I would have just called his race. Uh, I wanted to call 22. <laughs> yeah. I just want to take a peek. I have to fold a good hand, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it's just you and me? You have the other one? No, there's two buttons. Are you just waiting for a good hand now this time? There are three Armenians, even though he's not Armenian. <laughs> it's nothing close to an Armenian. I know. <laughs> what are you? Uh, from what? Ukraine. Ukraine? That's close enough. Nah. <laughs> 
Hell no. Seven fifty. No way, dude. I mean, I got a spade. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a spade, so that works for me. Adam gets his marker. So, we've got a link pinned to the top of our chat. Not we will be giving away a cruise for two later tonight. If you click on that link to wptvoyage.com slash hustler, you can <laughs> enter yourself into the drawing. We'll be giving away a cruise for two you got to. in a couple hours. I did get cooler by Henry. That was a lack. You got queen ten? Nice deuce of diamonds. What's that? No flush draw on the deuce. Really, that's cooler. Pump it up. Eighteen hundred. So Adam with just a call on the button. A couple more calls, and Dan is having none of that. Thank you, Dave. Playing poker and your chip stack looks like Arts does right now. It is not a good day. Your stack is made up entirely of rebuy chips.
Check. Check. Got her for L. Check. Not a whole lot for anybody else. Henry with the best sure hand with That's a good check. pocket sevens. And L makes a straight check. on the turn. Does Henry want to pay off a bet here? He does. Board pairs here, but in a small pot like this, that's not a huge concern for either player. In fact, Henry might think that's a good card. Twelve large is the bet. L over bets one and a half x pot. Puts Henry in a rough spot here. This is certainly a very tough bet to play against. But I think when Henry's range looks so weak and your hand is so strong, you can maybe just go a little bit smaller here, try to get paid. Those are my fishy, exploitative thoughts. I think the sizing lets Henry get away from a hand like pocket sevens, which he does. If one stand up, for sure, a bigger. If you can win only one stand up. So we're down to Art and Tom in the stand-up game. One of the limit tables hit a jackpot in the crystal room earlier today. So if people seem a little bit excited out there, that's probably part of the reason. Henry with a three bet and Art wakes up with a good hand. Both Dylan and Henry have markers though, so no reason to think those two are going super crazy. Nice fold from Art. <coughs> Looks no obvious, but when the stand-up game goes on, the temptation <laughs> to just go crazy with a hand like Jack-10 suited is pretty high. Monster draw for Tom. Not the flop Henry wants to see. He see bets though, and Tom comes along. Henry now opens the door for Tom. Very winnable pot here.
So 6,000 from Tom and Henry with just a terrible hand for the situation gets out of the way. So Tom gets his marker and Art is going to lose the stand-up game. Was it 1800? Yep. Is that the best hand, Henry? Yeah. I think you have the best yeah, hand. Yeah. No, you got jacked. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh. Yep. What are you gonna do? <laughs> 10. 10K. 10K for art, puppy. So, again? Uh, yeah, you guys want to switch it to progressive now? Or just keep it regular? It's up to you guys. I don't know what that means. Just, we just add 10 more buttons. So then you can keep winning more buttons. You can win multiple. We can do it. Let's just play regular, but let's play for more. Like 500? Yeah. yeah. Let's do 500. Yeah, I'm down for that. All right, 500 now? Okay. All right. Game on. I think we your So another round of the stand-up game. Yeah, yeah. He's on I'm here. I've just been on a plane for 15 hours. I'm not, I'm not going to try to figure out how to play that right now. I'm sorry. Just play every hand and uh, I can play every yeah, hand. What's the problem? Some folks in the chat pointing out that the date on the WPT Voyage site says March 8th. Uh, and we did give away a cruise package last week. We're giving away another one this week. Your entry will, if you enter now, it will count uh, for the drawing we do today. And if you entered last week, you're still in there as well. Check. So it does say March 8 on that page, but just ignore that. We're doing a drawing today. So a pair here for Dylan. Paul's facing a bet from Adam. Continues firing here. Put a big chunk of his chips in now. Dylan with just a pair of fours. Rough spot to continue here. Does let it go, and Adam's going to get a marker. I told you I'm playing every hand. What, play what? I didn't get in. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no problem. Good bet. Thanks. Six is up. No, I had 4-3, yeah, I, I wasn't going to continue, yeah. yeah, I know. You got a 10. Had, had to defend the button game, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was like, if you got a 10, you're going you're gonna to win some money here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Race from Tom. Dan with a three bet. I don't gotta show. Ah, <laughs> damn. And a pretty good flop if you're going to free bet 7 6 of clubs. Not a whole lot there for Tom. Dan gets a marker.
Got a little snack over here. Mm -hmm. Got a little snack. You want some chips? No. You don't care? 600. I feel like I'm going to just knock mine over a lot. Race from Dan. Oh. And Art's going to call on the button. Dylan calls as well as does Tom. What did you say? I said you can tell me I have 500 on my stack on the chip count. Oh, side check. An open header for Art. Two pair for Dylan. Check. No hard feelings. Checks around to Art, and this is a board that's kind of dangerous to stab on. Certainly try though. Twelve hundred. Call. Dylan just calls. Heads up. And Art turns the nut flush draw, so a monster draw now for Art. Check. The ace, not a card that should hit Dylan especially hard either. I think he's got a lot of jack nine suited, queen 10 type hands here that don't really like this card very much. Even though it can have made all in. All in. There is all aces up some percentage of the time, he's just going to shove uh, here. And now Art in a pretty gross okay. spot. Been put in a million rough spots tonight. Eighteen thousand to win a pot of forty-eight thousand. Ah, it's, it's funny what it depends. Like, like me and <laughs> pretty close to the odds he needs, but not quite. With one card to come. You might think also that the Dylan could have a worse draw than his some percentage of the time. Does make the call. Two times. Yeah, you can't fool him that. That's tough. Hmm? Six spot, right? So two rivers here as Art calls it off with a draw. Gets the first one, makes it straight. And gets the second one as well with a flush. Nice scoop. So a scoop for Art, who's had a pretty miserable first 90 minutes, but gets back a bunch of the money he lost, getting there twice on the river against Dylan Flashner. Easy come, easy go. Yep. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, <laughs> nice hand art. Sorry, I'm not trying to deal with No, 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 no. It's, it's you can deal with me as much as you want. Brother, I brother. I, 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 just, I, just, I, deserve the, I deserve the needle a little bit. Yeah. Easy no, ass run, bro. Yeah. That was an easy hand, bro. That's an easy win. <laughs> I, I knew it was coming, too. <laughs> hey, remember you put like 100k on this side? You scooped me and I had our turn. <laughs> Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. 
Sign up today with this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com slash hustler and use bonus code YT93 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. That's right. WPT Global will match your deposit with a first-time bonus. Sign up now for the welcome package at WPTGlobal.com using code YT93. Yeah, for sure. I think I think we're just well handcuffed there. Just whatever happens. Yeah, happens. right. Exactly. No, you got to call that with that many draws and everything. Oh yeah, I was just. It's just a tough spot. I'm just thinking uh, other stuff. Like I know I have to call, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah. other stuff. You know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Do you guys just do like tip during collection or something, or just? I tip think it's on collection. Your own? I think it's collection. Yeah. It's collection. Oh, okay. Just tip during collection. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God, bless God bless you, bless you sir. What? I can't bless him when he's out there. What are you, a fucking chaplain? Christian. Just fucking bless him. Christian poker over here. You don't see how good I am? You don't see how tight I am? I <laughs> like a good Christian boy. Bye. Suited ace for art. Nope. Let's go, baby. Like Get that button. L defense. Okay. <laughs> what are those shit talkers as soon as you got a button? And <laughs> does not flop much. Last round. Four. So Art, Adam, and Dan all have buttons. Which leaves Henry, L, Dylan, and Tom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, I appreciate it, Art. Were you the one that dealt me the, the hand? Or was it? That was the... That do it all. Oh, yeah. magic? Those two rivers? Oh, magic, my you, bad. You only, get, you only get that type of magic with magic. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's the that was magic. That makes fucking sense. That, I didn't was, realize that he was, was one. That was magic. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. Give it. I trust one river him, was yeah. her. One river could have been her, but those two rivers, that was magic. <laughs> yeah, two rivers, that's definitely magic. Yeah. <laughs> Six hundred. Race from Tom nine, and... <laughs> L with a suited Broadway. 24. Now Art with 6-5 suited. Thinks that both these players could be out of line because they don't have markers. He goes for the cold four bet. Very funky here, 6-5 of diamonds. This is a don't try this at home kind of play, but there are obvious advantages to it. L can be really wide here. And if he does decide to call, Art can get there in some very hard to see ways. Easy game. L just folds and Art gets it through. I can double down on my hand, on blackjack. All right, double downs, that where you paid extra? Face down card? Yeah, face down card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could do that with my hand. 
You can, you can blow it in the compensation spot, but I'm just kidding. I'm serious. Did you do, did are you, do uh, this? Are you an Indica guy or a Sativa? There's 10. OG Kush, whatever that is. What is Kappa Down 10? I think it's Indica. I think it's Indica. 11. 11, 11. Indica is typically like more, makes you more like chill, relaxed, and sativa is like more high. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm autistic, so nothing can really make me chill. Someone told me Indica stands for Indica Couch. Yeah, maybe. Thanks. What am I, 100? For me, it stands for All Inda. All what? All Inda. <laughs> Race from Dan here. Dylan makes the call. Not much of a flop for him. Four. I think I just straddled, no? I just, I just showed. Uh, I could have sworn I put out uh, right. Did you really? I, I don't think you did. I might not. Oh no, I did. And also, should you? French fries or onions? French fries is okay. I definitely did. And also, grilled chicken. Shrimp, what are your two sides? Which vegetables? Vegetable mashed potato? Uh, six. Which vegetables? I don't know what that is. Ah, two. Okay, let's be mashed potato. But the, next to not no need on the way to the Hey, tea. Do you guys have like uh, like veggies and dip or something? Do you need veggies and dip? Folds all the way to Adam. Let's see that. East King. Oh, you didn't fold. I was sure you were folding. What's in the three bed? Tom in there with the ace nine suited. And not a great flop for Ace King. Adam does see bet. Forgot what I had. Take it down though. No basis. Did you see? I had a very good hand. This round of the stand up game has been going on for a while, but only three players with one hands Adam, Art, and Dan. <sighs> One, two, three, fold. Dude, I told you I'm tired. I'm just thinking. And after, after four, after four, I realized. Sometimes I'm just you're, thinking. Okay. After four, I realized you're not folding. Like nine, ten offsuit, I was thinking like, oh man, no anti, and then I fold it, and then I fucking realized anti. Ace queen against kings I also here. You raised that. This is the last time. I didn't know you raised. Okay. I'm gonna tell you that. I'll tell you that, but it doesn't matter. Could Art's fortunes be turning? He just calls. So it was surprisingly on the flops. Actually, hoping that somebody three bets behind him, but it doesn't happen. What happened? Maybe not because you don't have Nice flop for Art. Dan gets a queen. And now Dan's playing possum a little bit. It's the preflop raiser, but checks it over to. Art and Dylan with a queen as well. He makes the call. And it's a pretty small bet from Art. I guess that makes sense, multi-way. But I wondered if we might see this. It's a raise from Dan. I think he thinks that Art doesn't really have a lot of 4X here. 
that he does have a decent amount of queen x and that, and that therefore ace queen is strong enough to raise so art makes the call now dylan in a pretty rough spot he correctly makes the fold Turn is a brick. I tried earlier. <laughs> now Dan checks. Interesting situation for Art. I wonder how often he thinks Dan is raising a queen after Art bets four ways on that flop. And I think I kind of love this tiny, tiny bet from Art designed to get Dan to raise, I believe. I think that's what he's trying to do. Dan, such an aggressive player. Yeah, yes and no. I usually go to the same spot, to be honest with you. Which one? Art, I believe, was trying to induce a raise with that tiny bet. Yeah, pretty good. What night do you go to? Doesn't work, but after Dan just calls. It switches up every Tuesday, Thursday? No, not there that often. I think Art is going to have a pretty clear path to getting another value bet in here on the river. Unless Dan does something really weird in donk bets, which he does, this is a really strange hand. 9,000 from Dan, Art calls it off and wins a 33K pot. Dan didn't want to give Art the opportunity to check back the river. Yeah, yeah, it's so funny. Which makes sense, but Art was waiting in the weeds with pocket kings. She slow played pre-flop. So Art actually is up now. Just $50, $50 but he is up. Henry, the big winner so far, up 34000 Dan stuck 52 Lately we've been going to... So a huge swing for Art. It's a cool atmosphere. It's like a good little pregame, and then we go to like off sunset. Off sunset, yeah. That's a good, I think it's Thursday. Yeah. Art was hugely stuck about 40 minutes ago after getting kings in against aces, but he is back. I brought like 120k with me. <laughs> okay. I don't know how. I don't know how you lose fucking that much money in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you're like the opposite of a vacuum cleaner person. <laughs> that, guy is, that guy is just going crazy with me against me every hand. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He's playing, huh? playing weird as fuck. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's going all in every what year. What did you have on the, the 910 nut hat? Huh? What did you have when 910 was the nuts? 910 was the nuts. Two pair. Two pair, 8 7. <laughs> Why is that funny? For sure you had two pair. Huh? For sure you had two pair. I had two pair, yeah. I thought you were bluffing. I thought, like, you guys, I thought you guys just both maybe were bluffing each other. I had two pair. I feel, I feel like I have a good hand. Oh. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he bet like half the pot. I was like, whatever, I'm too fair. Mm. Raise, I guess. I don't know. 
Tens against Jax. And eights out there as well. Three, two. A cold four bet from Henry. I was just thinking in my head, Henry doesn't want a stand up button, and then boom, 32. I was like, where's Henry been? <laughs> They're gonna put me on blast like that. <laughs> it's okay. I think people realize it, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> you could have aces though, dude. You could just Four bet from like, L. It is, we're never gonna see aces coming here. <laughs> you had kings earlier when this happened. Adam should not be talking about this during the hand. Wow, and Dylan's gonna fold jacks. L accidentally gets Dylan to fold Jax. I don't think L is bluffing here. Henry makes the call. And an eight for Henry. Another really weird hand developing. And an over pair for L as well. It's hard to just like fly back with China and have like 400k already. <laughs> I don't want to go through that headache. I mean, yeah, I can't fly with China. Okay. Yeah. 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 you gotta do what you gotta do, my man. I, I had exactly what I mean. <laughs> 5,000 from L. Henry makes the call. Three hearts out there now, and L picks up equity, and it's also a good card for him in the sense that it might cause him to slow down. He does just check it. Does not improve, but it's a run out where... He's not yeah, going to get stacked here. He's not going to lose a ton of money. I mean, I guess you never know, but that should not happen. L with about pot behind. Henry eyeing his chips. He moves in. And very hard to come up with a hand that L is beating at this point. Front door hearts complete, Jack 10 completes. There are tons of potential two pairs and just better pairs. I just kept like playing afterwards, not knowing it was like really fucked up. I kept carrying it and carrying it. Really bad. So. Pocket tens is really sh shrunk up in value. Still hate to lose this spot though if you don't have to, especially with both these players needing a marker in the stand-up game. And remember, this is a five bet pot preflop. So the list of hands Henry could have that pocket tens is beating is pretty short. Maybe some, especially when you have the 10 of diamonds in your hand, but maybe something like 
ace jack of diamonds. I'm actually pretty surprised that Ella is tanking for this long. calls it off and loses a 68k pot pretty surprised to see that call on that particular run out and a big pot for Henry gets his marker I think the stand up game probably played a big role in no L's decision to call off there. Okay. That's a come up, bro. If you just leave it there, it's a big ass come up right there. From him to me, from me to you. I think he meant that to go to you. Run that shit, boy. Well, I'm gonna add on 50. Yeah. Deal me out, Lauren. You got it, man. They're going. They're gonna have a little meeting. I made a big full pre-flop. Five zero, yeah. Big full. What am I doing? Hundred nine. Bigger than that. Did you have a set? No, oh, no. Yeah. I j I jacked. Five twenty. Five twenty-five. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's three, three bet and a four bet coming into me. Like I, I thought he had at least, he at least ace king. I didn't uh, think Henry had I, I don't have better cards. than me, but. And he... I'm the Twitter, right? Yeah, I understand. You're the button. I was just trying to figure out what No, no I mean, I don't have a stupid card. Oh, I see. I understand. One second. Let me find <coughs> out. Oh, standard game. <laughs> You could have just left him like 500 for stand up games? What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, man? <laughs> That's smart, right? I think about that. <laughs> I mean, if I bet on the river as a bluff, I'm leaving back 300 for stand up games. Well, there's not a stupid bluff, there's C3 and C7. We'll just be ready. Okay. Okay. They're, they're, uh, so L and Tom are the two players left in the stand up game, but L is away from the table. Right. Mm -hmm. So game is off. I mean, everyone is safe I think he should resume, though, on his button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. You know? Huh? He should resume on your button. Yeah, it's not fair, because ah. it's your button, button. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not fair, yeah. So it sounds like so they're now, suspending now the stand-up stand game back. until Elk no. comes back. It's just on pause. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, why, why did I do three buttons? <laughs> <laughs> why don't tell me before? You said, why did I do three buttons? So a three bet from Tom here with a 10-9 suited so creates a good spot for Dylan. Still no stand up, right? Nothing changed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom's gonna call the four bet. Who is? Ukraine. Tom? Tom, yeah. Tom. That's not his real name. <laughs> okay. Adam or uh, Adam. <laughs> Whatever you prefer. <laughs> the stand up was too long. That's correct. So when uh, you come back in. Ryan says, uh, can you, like, give me just 20, right? So Tom with the gutter. Dylan with the over pair. It sounds like Ella's back at the table. You got no red chips, right? No, 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 only, only this. Tom picks up an open ender. What should we do about the button? Oh. Hold well, on. He has about pot behind, and <laughs> Dylan just <laughs> jams. Just like a bit, like. oh, a pot? <laughs> I didn't see that, my bad. <laughs> if it don't mind, let's. <laughs> I'm just having fun over here, guys. I don't talk if I'm really in the middle of it. 
And Tom doesn't have got? the odds to call. I, had a big hand here. I don't have to show this time, do I? Where'd you got those? Lucky races, bro. Close to aces. I think I got lucky right there, huh? Ooh, I think I got a free key. Just called him free. Oh, I was shoving on you three. Oh? I had ace queen suited. I shoved because you was sending it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Trappy, trappy. Yeah, you're super cool. So Dan is <laughs> adding on for 50k. Or five lives. Kind of been. You'd have gone for a nice one, maybe. Five lives? Five lives. All right. That's straddle five lives. I had a good pair. Nice. L has rebought as well. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> you see? Yeah, my friend. So now stand up is on? That's correct. Okay. okay. Stand up game is back on. That's fine. That'd be cool. okay. Always tricky with the stand up game when somebody who doesn't have a marker yet gets stacked and then leaves. These players are unlikely to pull a move like that. But it's. Not very fair to anybody remaining at the table when that happens, as much as you want to be sympathetic to somebody who just got stacked. But in any case, Ella's back at the table. So no harm, no foul. Looks like our graphics are off, but I, they, Lauren, I believe, did say that the stand-up game is back on right now. And it's down to L and Tom. Adam flops middle pair. And that would have been the burn card. So a king is dead. Jack 10 board now. Does Dan want to try to represent a straight? He does get it through. from above Hustler Casino here in Gardena. Looking west here down Redondo Beach Boulevard. Tom raises a bunch of calls. And a 10 for Tom. Tom picks up a flush draw as well, but Dan now with a king.
it's Elton who takes a stab at this. Definitely bluffing using the sizing. Four ways with bottom pair. Tom makes the call. Now Dan's going to fold a king. Sorry, guys. Sorry, good call. And it gets exposed as well. Another weird hand. And Elvis not improved, but can he get Tom to fold here? He's going to jam. And this seems like kind of a desperation shove from L, but he's up against exactly the kind of hand he wants to be up against. Doesn't think Tom is super strong uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. And if the stand-up game is on, which I believe it is, these are the two players who are left at this point. Even with the stand-up game on, though, this would be quite a hero, uh -huh. hero call from Tom. Does let it go. Show. Uh -huh. oh, I have to show? Wow. Yeah, you got to show in the stand-up game. <laughs> and it will continue. You fucked up, boy. You fucked up. <laughs> so the stand-up game was on. All that for nothing, man. <laughs> L makes a crazy bluff and then okay, doesn't right. show it. Yeah. You got it. You got it. He's cool. He's fine. He's First chill. time I play stand up here. I think yeah, that's I'm the really rule in every stand up that. game I've ever played. It's an accident. Don't be sorry. I was ready to call. Race. Are you sorry? Huh? Are you sorry about that? <laughs> no, in this case, I, <laughs> I don't think he's sorry about that. I, I just told. I just told. But when I saw the king guy, I was fucked. What did no, you I mean that he mucked his hand. Huh? Are you happy he mucked his hand? Ah. Yeah, that was good. No, but maybe say he left three times. But if he bluffed, no, I know. So raise from Tom. L makes the call. Purely for stand-up game related reasons, and Adam in there as well. Open ender for Adam. Not much for the other two players. Ace high, still the best hand. Yeah. Checks around to L, fires. Adam makes the call. And a six now. Really annoying spot for Adam because he's out of position with just five high. Hasn't hit his draw. And he's up against the player who he knows is going to be bluffing a lot. This time L checks back though, and Adam still with nothing here on the river. Almost did not low. Five, two. He's gonna bluff. And 
L. Let's it go. I, I save you. Save me? I check I lose. So the stand up game continues. I cannot check this one. I think I could lift them. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. You're five. Five nine. Four five nine. Four five nine. Hey, it's Princess Love, and I just booked my cabin aboard the WPT Voyage, and I couldn't be more excited. It's a seven-day cruise just for adults that leaves from Miami and goes to Grand Cayman and Bimini Beach in the Bahamas. There are so many events. If you love poker like I do, you cannot miss this. So go to WPTVoyage.com and book your cabin now. See you on board. The World Poker Tour is headed to sea for a Caribbean cruise with a $5,000 buy-in, $1 million guaranteed WPT event and non-stop poker action. Use code HUSTLER to book your cabin now and get a free $300 bar tab at WPTVoyage.com. Don't forget, also, you can head over to WPTVoyage.com slash HUSTLER and enter yourself to win a cruise package later tonight. Drawing will be around 9 o'clock, so about an hour and a half from now. Such a long, such a long flight. From Korea? From uh, China. From China? Yeah. How long is it? 11 hours and 40 minutes. That's not that bad. That's, that's pretty bad. I tried to upgrade to first class, and they were like, it's 12,000. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's okay. You're like, I'm out. <laughs> Sorry for asking. Oh. I would do it in like some circumstances, but not this one. Luckily, the seat in the back, there was like, a, I got, I sat next yeah. to like a seat where there's no one sitting in. So I had like a. I checked dark. I had medium Check class. In the dark. This is for it's nice when like no one's sitting next to you. You, know? you can tell a little, you put your feet up. So race from Dylan, two calls. Check, check. Dan picks up a seven. Bet. One, two, five, one, two. You know, I'm like the first person to talk to Tom Guan when it all first happened. You were? I, I saw him and I was like, what's going on, man? You're trending on YouTube. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, no, he, he, he kind of said what he said in the interview. He was like, yeah, it's yeah. a lot going on, whatever. Yeah. He's like, I just squared up an eye. But it was funny. He was chilling. Tom's cool. Yeah. It's really hard to say, like, you know, in those situations, what the, what's going on. That's good. Now trips for Dan. Three hearts out there. Does Dylan want to continue representing something? Check. Nah, he checks it over. Hot size bet from Dan.
keep the change too. Thanks. Thank you. Dinner to go to, and I'm stuck here because I didn't show my fucking hand. <laughs> 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 I'm supposed to leave. That's so tilt. <laughs> Where are you going to dinner? Uh, friend's house. Oh, nice. In Newport, yeah. 800. Private chef? Uh, it's a pretty nice house. I'm saying, did it, you guys hire a private chef? That's your answer right there. It's a pretty nice house, bro. Uh, oh. <laughs> Come on, read between the lines. I don't know. Maybe going to a Shabbat dinner. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat. So, a pretty nice house. A very nice Jewish man over here. I mean, he could. He you can't tell. He, it's the Chinese mean? Jews. We have mutual friends that are Jewish. We have thousand. We have plenty. Of, no, how many mutual friends we have that are Jewish? Oh, wow. So El has a legitimate open here, but. Yep. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> Still gets three bet by Dan. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Without even saying a word. Yeah. All in? All in? Oh, all you can eat. L shoves. And Dan actually doing fine against L, of course, but hard spot to call off an L. <laughs> Gets one through. Don't look at me like that. Ace queen. Oh, ace oh. Which means that Tom is going to lose the stand up game. He's like, I got to go to dinner, dude. <laughs> so, presumably, L's going to head out. I'm going to take a two minute break. I'll be right back. Thank you, sir. Five to L. Enjoy dinner. Thank you. Yeah, me out. Oh, nice. That's perfect on, on your uh, big one. Yeah. Time to perfect with the okay. buttons, please. Right? Yeah. Where square? Good point. <laughs> How much is it? Eight, eight hundred. Four, mm -hmm. Is that good? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Sorry. Is, why does he still have a button? You're starting a new game? No, no, no. He didn't think it was a button. Okay. okay. Uh, so the game's done Fuck. now? The game's off now. Okay. <laughs> We're, it's a new round, right? I, I don't know. I thought he said it's off. Hey, why is it off? Yeah, well, I mean... On my button. Pretty lame. Because we started we discuss it before the hit. Yeah. I thought we were we're just, just assuming that it would be so Yeah, because we, we... It's auto no, on. we just yeah. said restart. Right. And I want to have also food. Uh, that's, that's what I think, yeah. It's auto on? You checked it? Yeah. I checked. Yeah, auto on. Do you guys agree? Yeah, yeah I, I, I just assumed that. I want to have food. Oh, so it's not on this round? Yeah. All right, well, can we start it on my button next round? Since... I said you should have the button. Uh, on I don't care. Or whatever. I mean, I don't really care either. Right. 23. Is it on or not? It's not on. Come on, dude. That's fucked up. Henry, come on. Say something. What's that, you, you can show your hand anyway. Pussy. <laughs> That's how screen. <laughs> Just being caught. Just... Sorry, I've been calling you pussy my whole life. Thomas, everywhere. I'm gonna show you pussy. I don't care, man. I'm gonna show you pussy. I'm not gonna care if you bluff me, dude. I've been bluffed so many times. <laughs> Who gives a shit? It's poker, man. You're gonna get bluffed. I bluffed too, you know? 
Yeah. Damn. Damn. So For real? There's no, no button, right? No There's no, uh, no stand Damn, up. I had a fucking monster fucking in. Sorry. Bouncy chips. Yeah, they're bouncy. That's me, right? Yeah. I'll put it out for you. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, let's have some food and uh, we can continue. Huh? Sure. Marie's from Art, who's probably going to be opening two hours? Three. pretty much always in that All spot. Right. It's, uh, it's no, actually, time? no, 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 it's, uh, it's 5.50. We started at 3. Oh, it's like 3.30, kind of thing. Two For like two hours. Two hours, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Are we playing, how long is the stream though? Five hours? Four hours? I think six on uh, Fridays. So Adam, earlier this month, finished third oh, the in the Super High Roller Series 25K buy-in <laughs> eight-handed event at Triton in South Korea Seven. for Seven. almost a million dollars. Adam's a longtime LA cash game player. Used to play <laughs> 10, 20 plus back in the day. What a stupid ass call. You getting some live reads over there? On you? From the way I call. No. <laughs> Man, I got nothing. <laughs> I think. I think I got you beat. I got nothing. I got you beat for sure. Congrats. <laughs> You in for 50? DF, you in? Of course he's in, it's $50. He'll like even chill and let his hand get folded so he can just have the button for 50 bucks next time. That's smart. <laughs> it's like a good deal. <laughs> oh, man. How much is Henry up today so far? Like 200K, 300K? Like 60. Well, this game really needed your energy, Adam. <laughs> it's very quiet, and you came, you livened the whole thing up. Imagine if I slept. <laughs> oh. Cowboys for Adam. Yeah, makes the call. Check, check on the flop. Dan does pick up a gutter. Adam checks again. Maybe going for the check raise. Maybe just trying to get a really aggressive player to bluff.
There's the raise. Dan, not done with this. He's going to try to spike a seven. Nothing there for him on the river. Feels like Dan could have a nine. So from Adam's perspective, I would be thinking, how much will a nine call? Adam's got this goofy exterior, but when he gets into a big hand, things quiet down. And Adam's going to bet a big number. Yeah, one and a half X pot. Gets a quick fold from Dan. Shout out to Nick Bertucci mixing it up in the chat. If I need to go to the restroom, how do I meet the mic? Yeah, they want to say here when you take a shit. <laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Nick saying he has known Adam for years and years and years. I was talking yeah, to Ryan yeah. Feldman downstairs, and he said the same thing, that Adam was one of the toughest players he used to play against. Straddle 1,000. Why not? Straddle 1,000. I'm kidding. You can do it. I don't even know how to count this shit. The show's pretty loud. Tom, did you add on? Mm -hmm. How much? 15. But like you 15, said like 15. it's quiet, but I feel like the show, every time I watch, it's like, people are talking. No, today it was quiet until you got here. Should uh, I tell sorry. if I add on? Today. Should I tell if I add on? Okay. I won, yeah? No, yeah. what the No stand up game. <laughs> got it. I would have played for Kobe, but. Hmm? I would play my hand for Kobe, but, you know. Mm. No stand-up game, I just told. So let's do it. We gotta wait for Art. Oh, yeah, who knows? No. Art's here. Art's back. Okay, stand-up. Perfect. Let's start it. All right, stand-up on 500. Stand-up's on now for 500. So the third so round of the stand-up game. Is it automatically on unless we say off? Or what's Are we doing it? It's yeah. good to keep it on. Yeah, so it's up to the same. Yeah, well, how do you guys want to agree to that? It was confusing last time. I'm not going to lie. I'm down to keep it on. Okay. And then unless someone like requests for it to be off, I guess, yeah. for the next round. Yeah. When someone has to go to the bathroom or whatever. We'll just... right, Art right lost the first already. round of the stand-up game. What do you mean? Tom lost I'm the second round. You mean? Oh, you thought I limped. All right, okay. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Alright, okay. Wait, you know that? No, I'm, a, I'm the straddle. How? This is crazy. You should go all in. I'll check it, I'll check it, I'll check it. <laughs> Pussy. I'll check it. I feel like you're playing mind games with me. I feel like you know I'm the- All in? <laughs> oh, yeah, I probably fold. <laughs> I think you take it down, you fucking puss. <laughs> Two pair for Henry, flush draw for Art. I might call fucking one up. And a boat now for Henry. Small bet from Henry keeps Art around. And unfortunately for Henry, Art does not improve. Art probably suspicious because the stand-up game just went back on, but it's got nine high here. Henry collects a marker. Whoa. <laughs> Good call on the turn. Why the move? Yeah, I'm drawing fucking dead. <laughs> Ten. You should have gone all in pre flop. Yeah, I should have raised pre flop. Fucked up. I had a good answer. Damn. I think I had better. Can I have fucked what's the pre flop? You had better ace nine off? Nine seven. Seven? Nine seven. Dan, you're not eating those carrots? Nine seven? Shoot it. Oh, oh, really? ace nine off. You call the show? Pre flop? I might. That's why I said I might. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's close, probably. I might fold, though. <laughs> Just shove. It's not that serious. I mean, it's 500 bucks. All right, it's like 3 I don't know, it's close. No, I think I fold. He has to know I have like a pretty good handle when he's high and thinks that he has a monster. Right. 2300. How much? 2300. 23. I'm like Phil Hummus. I'm back with a big ace. He's a beast, bro. I live back with a big ace. Hey, don't knock so hungry, bro. These fucking guys play queen five, Sad make full houses. I live back with a big ace, then. <laughs> Sad. I love you, Phil. Wherever you are. You're my boy, Phil. Mm -hmm. I'm really cool to all the Phil cases. Phil locked my girl. That's my boy, bro. 600. 600. He calls me like once a month and texting on He's probably just chilling all day at home. Big turn card here for Tom. Netflix. He's been playing on the stream lately. Yeah. He's been back in the yeah. he's on my stage. Yeah, you probably just get bored at home all day just I think like he's just watching Jennifer play off so much. He's like, yeah. he probably got like a uh, salty. He's like, I want to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have asked him if that's why. Uh, I think he even wants to play just to play. He has a few Yeah, yeah. 48. How much? 48. 4800. I was going to blow that hand too. What are you doing? Like, 
Tom Again, gets rid of Henry. Super, super draw. Collects his marker. Let's see the river again. <laughs> Can we? Wow. Oh, wow. Is that a nuts? Wow. That's a nuts? Good way to hit it. Yeah, that's a nuts. Yeah. Wow, what a river. Fuck, I should check. That's a nuts. Sorry, man. am I allowed to do that? It's a home game, bro. You can do whatever you Saving want. Saving you time, you know? So thanks to Jimmy Bluffett, who points out that Dylan Flashner, who of course is an actor and producer, has a new movie called Prey that comes out today. Imagine I just heard a lot worse. Also starring Emil Hirsch, who is somewhat of a presence in the LA poker scene. That's your uncle. Where now? This was 600. If only you knew what a used gondon was, my man. <laughs> 600. Oh, man. So raise here from Tom. Uh, Dylan just calls. All right, let's go. Three way. Adam in there as well. Check. And Dylan with the best hand. Tom with a gutter. 2,000. You play so much better when you have a button. <laughs> you play so bad without the button. Can we stop it? <laughs> <laughs> when you don't have button, you're still the worst player in the game for sure. <laughs> when you have button, you play good. <laughs> That's funny. So Tom bets and takes it down. You know, it's a tie between you and Leia. The way Leia didn't even turn his fucking cards over one hand. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Tom and Henry, yeah, the only players with markers so far. At the same end. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Did you have him beat? No, you eight, 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 five. Oh, eight shit, five. you had nothing too. But you did. Yeah. Wait, did you have ace five that hand too? Eight five, eight five. Oh, eight five. I had ace five. Trial corner. Oh, no aces in the deck. Yeah. Fuck, I had kings. I like it. <laughs> Just straddle four. Adam with a big raise here. Dan with like wakes up with a real hand. Open a five large. Three bet from Dan. I was missing your last stream. He's three bet light a bunch of times tonight, but this time he's got it. Adam makes the call. So 10,000 already in there. And not much of a flop for either player. Check again. Eight for Adam. I imagine he'll check here. I'm. I would think he would, just because he's beating some ace highs now.
front door hearts have come in. Dan's got a hand where it's it could very well be good, but it's hard to get value from worse. He's going to bet anyway, and I don't... We'll see if this can get paid off, but I, I don't really get this. This is a pretty big bet. Feels quite mergy. That said, if he can get paid by an eight here, it's brilliant. <laughs> the stand-up game does make people pay off bets more lightly. Now, in Adam's perspective, this does not feel like a bluff line, but he's up against an opponent who can find some pretty unnatural bluffs. Perfect, perfect combo. Perfect combo. Maybe it actually makes me circle back to kind of liking this bet from Dan, and he does get it paid off. Pretty sick value bet and sick sizing, especially from Dan. And he wins a $27,000 pot, putting in a huge value bet with third pair and getting paid by a worse third pair because the stand-up game is on. Well done by Dan. Thank you, Dan. 400 is on. Copy. See the crystal room here from the Raver Cam. Got Limit Hold'em over on your left. Make it 1400. PLO. Up in the front, and that's 10, 20, 40, PLO. You see Adam, Adam Johnson oh. down there. No limit hold him in the back. 5-5-10 five, five, in the middle there. 5-5 five, five, PLO on the right. Seven. Seven large. Free bet from Tom and a couple of real hands here. Now Art wakes up with Ace Jack. I think 30. The client. I think around 30 behind you. Dylan folded jacks to a bunch of pre-flop action a while ago. He said around like 35. That's not going to happen this time. It's 10, 20, 26, 28, 30, 30 behind and uh, Dylan makes the call. 16,000 already in the middle. Heads up. And a nice flop for Pocket Jacks. SPR of less than two here, stack to pot ratio. Which means, I think, that you can pretty comfortably just get it in with Jacks against an aggressive opponent. 
or at least not think about folding until unless or until the, the board gets much, much worse. Bump it up. Dylan's actually oh, going to raise. for a pretty significant percentage of Tom's remaining chips. And I don't really know what he can do oh, here but oh. fold. Wow, he's going to jam. Still around, such a... Uh, if he gets Dylan to can fold see here... To see if it's all my chips, real quick. Right. We bring the 12 first? Yeah, sure. Okay. That would be insane. I don't think that's going to happen. Tom made a really wild bluff against Art that worked before, but this one strikes me as maybe what a bit on the spewy side. Dylan certainly does have a fold button. But he even beats some over pairs here. And he's getting now what will be a pretty crazy price. Seventeen thousand eight hundred to call, oh, and he I does flick twice a one? chip in. Twice is good. Yeah. Twice? Yes. You want to open? Kind of a blow up here from Tom. Right, two times. But he'll have four chances to hit an ace or a queen as they run this turn and river out twice. Deuce would be good for Tom here as well. Dylan gets the first one. Again, a deuce would make a straight for Tom. But Dylan stacks Tom, wins a $75,000 pot. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah, we'll give uh, for. I'm to keep 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah. Okay. 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 All right, cool. There it is. He gets a stand up button. Dylan gets a button as well. So we're down to Art and Adam. Thank you, Dylan. Do the 1-1. Nice, everybody. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Sorry that took so much time. I didn't mean to. And Dylan, the big winner, followed closely by Henry, both of them up a little over $60,000. Tom, L, and Dan all stuck between 35 and 40,000. 20 total, right? Hey, yeah, yeah. Adam down 11, and Art breaking about even. Not in your personality. A lot more aggressive. Cool. Uh, 500? Yeah. I play like Armenian Mike. He's in it. He's way better than you, dude. Yeah. Probably like my boy. Check. Check. Oh, 
fuck it up. 2500. Oh. 30. He's doing 30 k Buttons good. Lawrence uh, Good luck. Thank you. Hey, it's Princess Love, and I just booked my cabin aboard the WPT Voyage, and I couldn't be more excited. It's a seven-day cruise, just for adults, that leaves from Miami and goes to Grand Cayman and Bimini Beach in the Bahamas. There are so many events. If you love poker like I do, you cannot miss this. So go to WPTVoyage.com and book your cabin now. See you on board. The World Poker Tour is headed to sea for a Caribbean cruise with a $5,000 buy-in, million-dollar guaranteed Nevada's WPT okay. event, and non-stop poker action. Use code HUSTLER to book your cabin now and get a free $300 bar tab at WPTVoyage.com. And don't forget, we're actually going to be giving away a cruise package later tonight in about an hour. And you can enter yourself to win by clicking the link right. pinned to the top of the chat. It's wptvoyage.com slash hustler. Adam, what are you doing with that little 200, bro? Okay. Let's go. You had Queen 5 last time, I remember. <laughs> you made a full house. So Adam and Art, the last two players in the stand-up game, and they've both got a pair of queens. Adam has Art slightly outkicked, although that shouldn't matter much, given the likelihood that this will get chopped up if it goes to showdown. Four on the river for Art. Two pair. And Adam is not going to like to see that. <laughs> you have an out kick? <laughs> Pay up, bro. Pay up! So Adam, <laughs> thanks to that river card, loses this round of the stand-up game. Yes. You guys split that? Will you two split that? Uh, yeah. up. I think we'll yep. that's yep. Oh, it's not 35? After continue. It's continuous? Yes, after. Okay. You want to make it 700? Henry. Sure. Uh, rest? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. No, no, I don't want to. 500 is good for me. <clears throat> I'm going to get too carried away. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I got a river two pair, I stacked you. 600. I had a queen. Yeah. And a five. Yeah. If I river two pair, I shot. Cowboys for Dan. Maybe. You're falling on a five with stand-up, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Gay. Okay. <laughs> I only have, like... Flush draw for Dylan. How much you have? Not much. Oh, that's all you had left when I when I called the turn? Yeah. Two, four, five, five six, seven. AK. Oh, I just double up with you. Oh yeah. I'm beating you to the pop. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're I'm unlucky that you didn't have like a like a better hand. Like, like you weren't trapping with aces or something. Ran bad there for me. 
Are we chopping before the river? No, I can hit some twos or threes or something. Yeah. I think I can hit like, I'm a small person. I don't know the board. I don't know either. Queen, oh yeah, it's queen. Ten deuce. Queen, ten deuce, seven. No, three. Yeah, three, yeah. Three or five. Can I see a river? And you got four. Dylan folds. And Dan gets his marker for the next round. I almost raised the free flop, too. You know, I would love hold it. Uh, Were you suited? No. Oh, okay. I just can't let you win stand up. Yeah, yeah. You get there, Dylan? It's like stand up game, right? Oh, if you won the hand. I would have played Ace King differently, I think. No, I, I don't know. Maybe like. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I had diamonds. He priced me out. Race from Tom and Henry with the light three bet. Six. Same six. And but. there's the four bet from Tom. And Henry gets out of the way. So Tom picks up a marker. That's the best feeling. Pocket queens with no button, all right? <laughs> it's beautiful. Good for you. Right, but it's a great feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry bumps it up, and now Art with the light three bet incoming. Art seemingly favoring slightly bigger sizes when the stand up game is on. Henry not done with this. Just got four bet in the last hand. Now getting three bet. And now getting off flopped. So King 8, still looking good, but very dangerous board. A lot of good stuff Henry could have, and Art checks back. Henry will probably be content to Well, I don't know. I was going to say he'll be content to check this back, but He does beat some stuff that could pay off a bet here. He does check. Not checking back, of course, just checking. And Art checks back, and he'll get a marker.
Art raises, Dan calls. Art checks back the flop, which is, I'm sure, not with the intention of just giving up. Should Dan decide to start betting, which he does not here on the turn. And a seven for Art. Dan has one of the worst hands he would ever turn up with here. And he does bluff. Art snaps him off. Art bumps it up. Adam with the suited ace. And small three bet. Adam is very short stacked here. Which I think he might think is an advantage with the stand up game on. Yeah. 7,000 behind? Am I, am I seeing that right? <laughs> Six, yeah. Adam not helping out Art. All in. Who jams. Bean says, Charlie, great job tonight. Bring it home strong. I have tons of notes. I don't know if that means notes on my commentary or notes on what's happening on the show or what but either way your input is welcome so art tom and dan all have markers leaving henry dylan and adam six Do you have a button, sir? Okay. You have like 30, you have 30,000? A bit, a bit more. Okay. 32. Okay. So both players are the nine after Art defends. Oh boy. Trip nines for both players. Both of them quite aggressive, and this could get very messy for Art. Nine. Hmm? Nine, right? And these two players have mixed it up in some really weird pots tonight. Art may be feeling like Tom has had his number a little bit. Not that Art is the sort of player to massively change his strategy based on a couple of pots not going his way. But he does have to be wondering what Tom's been up to. And now he's facing a raise. 
And Art is probably loving this because even if our, even if Tom has a nine, could easily be a nine with a worse kicker than Art's. And if Tom had something like jack eight or pocket sevens or something, I don't see him slow playing it on the flop. Six on the river puts out a one-liner to a straight. This isn't one of those rivers where Art has to lose a massive, massive pile of money. What size is Tom going to go for here? Less than half pot. Totally reasonable bet size here. From Art's perspective, Tom could definitely be doing this, I would think, with, worse hands? with a worse nine. Maybe. Yeah. But Art might not agree. There's the call. And Art's going to see he got pipped. One more? As Tom <laughs> continues to have Art's number here tonight. Oh, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Or three bets the small blind. This is the spot, it's the kind of spot where Dylan is maybe a click too tight, a fair amount. Facing a raise and a three bet from opponents who can both be really wide. But if you're playing 5-10 out on the casino floor or something, folding King Queen off and his spot is totally standard. checks the flop. And he's going to go for a delayed C bet on the turn. And I think he's trying to make it look like he has a hand like Q2 
kings through tens, maybe a weak ace that now has trips. It's a pretty cool line against a thinking player like Henry because it does not look like a bluff. Nonetheless, Henry not a believer quite yet. Front door hearts come in. Does Art want to keep telling the story? Very long tank from Henry that I think is designed to slow Art down. And Art does give up. I think another bet from Art would have gotten the job done. but easy to say when you can see the cards. Henry gets his marker, leaving Dylan and Adam in the stand-up game. Airlines for Tom. Oh boy, Queens for Dylan. And Dylan was on the good end of a cooler earlier today. Aces against Arts Kings, but now he's on the bad end. Here comes the four bet. And Tom started this hand with about 40,000. How much you got? You got greens, right? Uh, it should be around 35. Oops, sorry, I just want to see oh, yeah, the yeah, large chips. Sure. Dylan just calls. Six and one more. Yeah. Thirteen thousand in the middle. And that's not a flop that's gonna help Dylan out too much. Tom now just thinking about how best to get the money in. We'll start with a small bet. And just like Dylan did with Jax earlier after flopping an over pair, he's going to put in the raise. He was ahead that time against Tom who had ace queen. It was the same thing. <laughs> so the same same exact thing. Yeah. <laughs> but this time, Tom has the goods. He shoved, he three bet shoved with ace queen on an eight high board earlier when Dylan did this. And that dynamic has to be going through Tom's I head right now. Holy no. <laughs> After that hand. Tom's just going to call. 37,000 in the middle. 
And another low card on the turn. It's unlikely to change anything. All in. Dylan shoves and a quick call from Tom. You have higher than Queens? Huh? You have a pair? Aces. $81,000 pot. Twice as good. Twice. Only one card to come. They're running out twice. And no queen for Dylan. Oh. Nasty cooler. It's a cooler. And a huge pot headed toward Tom. So it's Dylan. So up and down today, it's crazy. You guys just sit here and cool each other all day? Won a huge pot against Tom Welcome with jacks to against ace queen. Welcome, Welcome to Hustler Casino, bro. <laughs> nah, you bluffed, though. I bluffed. Yeah, yeah. you bluffed, you bluffed. I get you. And twice versus art. Yeah. How much is it? Twice? <laughs> no. Uh, I speak uh, I <laughs> just for him to be a bit. Yeah. And won a big no pot against Art, art with aces against play. kings. I, know, but I, I, I tried, but I see that it doesn't work. So he's always going to play as good as he's been playing all day. <laughs> loses much of that profit here. The queens against Tom's aces. That's brutal. Did I lose stand up too? Is no, that, is that the still, needle? Or? I, I, once you made it 12K, I had, I called out, I cut out yeah. 2,500. Yeah. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I was like, fuck, I'm so stoked. Yeah. Well. But then when he called, I pulled it back. I was, I was, like, I was oh, a little got, worried that hand. That, with, with all the speech and he called, I was like, uh oh. Just the, the flat, <laughs> the flat worried me a little bit. I don't know what else I was going to do Is there. He showed Queen, yeah. Nasty, nasty. Stupid flop. Don't flop. Don't flop. Give me, give me a king or something, man. Or a queen. Or even a jack. I can even <laughs> yeah, about talk, a queen? talk myself. A queen too. Yeah, a queen works. <laughs> give you a queen. I wasn't trying to even get that greedy. It was just. I'm not gonna lie. I, I wanted you. To, I, I was rooting for like a chop for you, but I didn't want the queen to come on the first board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you on that. The aces are just, going around here. I was here. anti fading the queen on the first board only. Yeah, these cards look like something else. I'm rooting for you in the stand-up, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. It's not a big deal. I know, but <laughs> still. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to lose. I can easily just ship every hand next time. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next round. Nice Mark. hand, Tom, by the way. One one. The flat, the oh. flat, the flat <laughs> was, uh, was dirty. That was good. Actually, I wanted to play same like as Queen. Did you? No, that was smart. No, the Ace Queen got me to do that. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Like that's that's why you do that kind of thing. Check, check on the flop. The Ace Queen has anything to do with no. King Queen? Or no, seven, no, seven. no. Three sure hearts. Not, but like you know what I mean. It's Henry like, with the Ace of Hearts. Probably, yeah. I think if he just folded the Ace Queen, he could have made so much more money today. <laughs> I can do it. It's okay, I'm down 20 the Are you winning now? I don't know. My line is 7. Oh, okay. Dan does not find an 8. Yes. What about you, Art? Even. I think. You're up, right? Yeah, I'm staying. Like 20? Um, I think like 20. I don't know. That's 20. Uh, what are you going for 20? 25. Oh, here you have like 20. Just me and you, Lay. <laughs> <laughs> $5,500 value Sorry, bet from dinner. Henry. <laughs> Like the 500 went straight to dinner. How much shipping they can go to? Oh, yeah. If you want to go to dinner, you have to kill us. No, I probably won't. What time is it, Art? 6.50. For what? What time did they play for? Like 9.30 or something? And Dan pays it off. 
$20,000 pot heading over to Henry. 55. Would you have called? I would have won. You didn't want to call that one. Do us a favor, if you haven't already, check raise that like button. That's 756 likes right now. Two hands in a row Let's try to get it up to 1,000. Yeah. Big blind, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. straddle. Oh, So the stand-up game is still on. Dylan and Adam, the only players left. I know Jim. Let's show you Jiminy. Tom, the pre-flop raiser here. players both checking on the turn tens will usually be the best hand here and Tom is going to try to squeeze a little bit of value out of exactly the kind of hand Dan has But no dice. Can Paul, if I jam? <laughs> I got 10 eye on this fucking movie. 10 high is good. 10 high is good, yeah, right. <laughs> That'd be hard. No way it could be good. I mean, even if I bluff, like, I, uh, I would have like maybe 10 9, 10, 10 yeah, and eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like even even in this case you I wish I was suited, I would have jammed it. No suit. Oh, well. You could do it last time? Why is this Adam? Shoves the pocket eights. All right, so what's the math here? I owe 2,500 if I lose this, but you only have. <laughs> uh, I think I have 52. Well, these don't count, right, or something? So no, they count. They count. Yeah, can I just get a count on I just want to, yeah. So Dylan basically has a math problem here. 4,700 to win. Pot of around 11,000 plus the equity of the stand up game because these two players yeah, are the no, only no, ones no, left. No. All right. I'm going to lose money anyway. So yeah. Dylan goes ahead and calls. Uh, first board stand up? Yeah. Kind of makes sense. I got eight. Given that there's basically of several thousand dollars dead in this pot in the form of the stand-up game bounties that one of these players is going to have to pay out. Dylan needs a jack. <laughs> Doesn't find one, and Adam's going to get a marker after winning this first run out. They are running it twice, but the first run out is the only one that matters for the stand-up game. Got a nine. Yeah, he got out. And 
They're going to chop this up as Dylan hits a jack on the second run out, but he's going to have to pay everyone out as this round of the stand-up game comes to an end. So Adam dodges losing consecutive rounds of the stand-up game here. Continue this stupid game? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys, we agreed, I think. Back on. It's on? So Henry up $70,000 tonight by far the biggest winner. Dylan was right up there with him, but lost a lot of the money he was up for the evening in that huge cooler pot against Tom. Dan stuck 46000 and L down 38000 and out of the game. Dan playing 43% of hands. Everybody pretty active. I'll tell you, I never played. I don't want to be tired. It's the same as this, but you can receive as many uh, Eight. cards as you, as you can. But then doesn't the loser have to pay like so much more? Nobody knows. <laughs> yes. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's so unlimited. the loser can pay like 20k. In theory, yeah. Yeah. Hey, in theory, yeah. But, anyway. But with your stack, I think it's good. I mean, you can pass it. Yeah, but then you can pass it too. And that's how it works. Four here for Henry. I don't get dealt aces like you guys, I'm sorry. You see me, I'm, I think the best time I got dealt was ace eight off against you. All day. It's a fucking ace. Yeah, they four still good. I have ace queen suited. Ace queen suited? Okay. Yeah, when I think when the one where I want to raise, fall, three, raise, three, raise. And you have the balls? I got king three times already. You did? Yep. How are you doing? I lost all broken. You got king to the camp when I jumped? Dan's going to bluff here. And he goes big, 3,500 into 1,900. Almost 2x pot. You had it? I think you should have shut up on the river. <laughs> if you had it there, I think you should have shut up on the river. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. If you were bluffing, nice piece for you. And Henry is actually going to raise here. Sort of turning his hand into a bluff, wasn't sure if the four was good enough to win or not, and just decided to take matters into his own hands by raising. Interesting play and a good reminder to consider all your options. All the swag. So a new round of the stand-up game has started, and Henry has the first marker. He won the coin toss. <laughs> his, to receive. His, his team scored the first two, three touchdowns, you know, it's like... He stopped lay, first down, oh, first three downs, lay oh, punted it. He did. <laughs> he did. I remember that. Lay punted it, three and out. <laughs> yeah, what, what did he have? Real yeah, he's queen suited or something. Yeah, he had to have, yeah. Exactly, yeah. like, that's all you can have. Yeah, he's queen, he's queen. Even after the carrots. Sorry, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so don't forget, coming up in a couple months, 2024 million dollar game. <laughs> Alan Keating in the house, joining Doug Polk, Nick Airball, Tony G, Charles, and a whole bunch of other luminaries. It's a ways off still, but put that in your calendar, May 28th to 31st here on Hustler Casino Live.
15. 1500. Do you have a bluff on when you shot? Huh? Do you have a bluff against me when you shot free? I'm going to get some marker. I have him. Dylan with like 235. Better than Ace? <laughs> yeah, out of pair. Uh, Keep the change. Thank you. Hey, uh, <laughs> I don't know how I, I might have punted that hand. <laughs> yeah, I had a suited A6. Oh, that's a punt. Six? That's a big punt. Yeah. Six though? Yeah. 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 Six? Yeah, just the, just six hundred. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's cold. cold. I'm thinking that yeah, I could fall, but no. still, it's, it's, it's a six. <laughs> I would, like, like, I would shove like, yeah, 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 yeah. I would shove like fives, and then you have full A6, like fucked up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you something while you play playing? Well, I shove like, 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 like King Jack suit or something. No, like, where did the lost carrots are pretty good? Yeah, no, I was worried about it. I was kind of pissed. I was like, that's why I was like, I probably punted here. I'm too tired today, man. I'm playing like shit. Uh, whatever. Maybe I turned it around. You got a button? Yes, bro. And you? No, but I like it when you have a button. You play that. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Oh, wait. No, I said it's the opposite. Yeah, you play good with the button. Yeah, you play good with the button. <laughs> yeah, you were saying you play well with the button. When you have aces, you have button, right? You play good. <laughs> nah. Yeah, you have standard button when you have aces. You had to stand there, buddy. Because it was just me and him. Because I cut out the 2500 because when he yes. was that crazy. Yes. <laughs> I was like, fuck. You were right. When you called, I was very happy. <laughs> uh, can I straddle? Yeah. Straddle 400. Put this for me. Art bumps it up. Uh huh. Wins it. Gets the marker. Damn, I think I didn't have it. I was like, come on, nine. Not much there for anybody in this limp pot. Check is good. Rivers is six. Javert says, who won the cruise? We have not drawn for it yet. I believe that's coming at the top of the hour. Or sometime around there. So I believe there's still time to get your, get your uh, ticket in. Go to wptvoyage.com slash hustler. Click the link at the top of the chat. I didn't know what you had, though. Right. I, I, I wasn't even... Right, well, I was Tom when you, picks, up a, when you called my picks off a bluff from or whatever, right. I was like, yeah, Adam. Like, oh, it's I, was, I was very, yeah. very, very... Yeah. Well, because calling there is kind of a weird play, too. Extremely. You know what I mean? yeah. Extremely. I'm saying, like, I'm, I was hoping, like, maybe you have, like, queens. Sometimes. Right, right, yeah. Tens. You don't want to fall yeah. or something. I no, 100%. 200 right I was hoping it didn't look too weird, but, you know, it was the action happened the way yeah. it did anyway.
Four more. Three from Henry, Dan calls. And a seven for Dan. And Henry checks back. Dan will get a marker. So we're down to Dylan and Adam, which is a familiar refrain. Shout out to Micah's girlfriend, Caitlin. It's her 23rd birthday. button, right? Oh, you have a button. I fold it. I guess so. from Dan. Henry calls and Dylan a really good spot to three bet just makes the call. Remember Dylan and Adam are the last two players remaining in the stand-up game so there's a lot of incentive for Dylan to just try to take the pot down now. Plus he has a good hand. Six now for Dan. Check, check. Go. He checks it back. Check. Dylan's going to try to get this to show down. Dan's going to scoop a small one. Race from Henry, two calls. And a 10 for Adam. 
check. Four hundo. Adam in a weird spot where if he loses the stand-up game, he kind of gets stacked just with the chips he has in front of him. Losing the stand-up game would cost 2500 Does have the best hand here, though. He jams, and Henry with no choice, I don't think, he but wins. to let this go. How much he? He wins, he wins. Oh, he wins. Right. Why? That's just like a time of day, actually. I think so. Yeah, for sure. So Adam gets his marker, and Dylan is going to lose this round of the stand-up game. Second straight loss for Dylan. Who won? Oh, my boy, my bad. Sorry. No, 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 brother. brother really? Knock out King Queen, King Jack. Brother, please, buddy. I'm here for fun, I don't care. High cards. All right, game's still on. Auto one, Sorry for me. You guys have to do one progressive round? I don't know what the hell that is, bro. That means you can win yeah, two buttons. You can win two buttons? You can win unlimited. And then what happens? Uh, so, like, you, got, you can get like guys. 20K if you lose. I don't want to do that weird shit, yeah. bro. All right, so regular. Put it like that. For sure. I mean, I, I don't. I mean, you can, right? The loser can pay like seven, eight k. Or like six, five, six, seven k. I don't know. I don't play poker, bro. <laughs> Last time I played live poker was probably like a year ago, dude. All right, regular stand-up game then. <laughs> Magic's the most important. <laughs> I feel like I've seen Art around more recently than a year ago, but yeah. Let's still continue, yeah. Tom gets his marker, first one of this new round. Double the buttons. Most you can lose is about 5k. Call. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. Okay. Okay. Two large more. Two thousand more shots. Big race from Henry. Art will continue. We'll go heads up to a flop here. A jack for Henry. Henry gets a marker, joining Tom.
Interesting. Arch is calling here. Not very often you see a player as good as Art limp calling. But that's what he does here. Gets to see a flop with some depth. In position. But not a lot there for him here. 1300. That's crazy. <laughs> Is that why it's crazy? Nothing. But yeah, hearts will be nothing. Right? Now it's Adam who's limping. Three ways. Me and you two again. Check. A tray for Art. Who's already ahead now with a 10. Gets a marker. Wow, three limped pots in a row. Adam with top pair. Henry with a gutter. Picks up a six. So he bet the flop. Considers betting the turn, but ends up checking. All right. Interesting check back from Adam. <laughs> and it really feels like Henry should have the best hand, but he doesn't. Wow, Adam checks back top pair. Well, he'll get a marker. Leaving Dylan and Dan. Eight, six, eight, five. You don't get to see the river probably. What's this? Oh, 
face. You check right in the river over there, crazy guy? Night. Night. I was hoping I had a diamond so I can back fall. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I know I got a red nine. I don't think it's a diamond, though. <laughs> So Dan coming in here hot because he and Dylan are the last players remaining in the stand-up game. Sorry, man. It's all right. I, I, I had play. two threes, so I got fucking. Jack and three. Dylan gets it. Or excuse me, Dan gets wow. it through with the 10-4 off. So Dylan, for the third consecutive time, is going to lose the stand-up game. Percent chance. <laughs> What's the for 40, oh. 40 percent of the time she did it 100 percent of the time. <laughs> Who said that? Brian. Said, oh yeah, he said that at the, at the airport, right? I don't know. He was at the airport. He don't rob me on fucking Twitter. <laughs> I think Ryan was at the airport. They caught him off guard. Sorry, Ryan. So Everybody. we're excited to announce the winner of the WPT. How much is it? Voyage cruise package, and that is Joseph Joles. So Joseph Joles, WPT will be reaching out to you. So congratulations on winning the cruise Tom, package. When you, when you muck, I can almost see your hand. Yeah, when you and muck. If you didn't win, Good when I muck, still so. head over to WPTVoyage.com. <laughs> And okay. consider coming on the cruise anyway, but Joseph Joles is our winner. Adam with the best of it here with just a king. 15. But Henry gets the bluff through. We played six rounds of the stand-up game so far tonight. Art lost once, Tom lost once, Adam once, and Dylan the last three times. open jams here playing a very short stack oh 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 uh. <laughs> very lucky um not even what was it so Adam gets a marker 10, but it looks like times at first uh Again. <laughs> 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 I'm like a pun again. Great. Well, I can get like smaller aces to play. Huh? He just owned you. Huh? He just owned you. It's okay.
fucking lame. Didn't you call up like 17,800 more with King High? <laughs> Probably. Should, should maybe run that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're getting the right odds. Race from Adam. Henry calls. Got the same hand. So Adam is just min raising instead of shoving here because he's already got his marker. Checks down to the river is a seven. chop this up. Nice. Gary Blackwood says, is that a seat open? Yeah, if you can get here in the next two hours or so from London, Gary, you can have it. So for anybody who missed Definitely it, we did win. announce the winner sure of the, the cruise drawing, who is Joseph Joles. For sure. Uh, for sure yeah. I don't know. I'm not thinking like, that. I don't know. As 50, Dan 60, gets his marker. 47 large. No. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Lay is probably down more than you. Right in your face. Huh? Lay has probably lost more than you. But you said the biggest loser here. He's only down one buy, wasn't he? Lay? No, yeah. he was down like two buy. He called off Henry when he had a set, too. Yeah. He lost 38. Oh, 38. Congratulations, Dan. <laughs> you know what? I'd rather be down at 47 than up 40 and then back to even, if you know what I mean. Yep. <laughs> I, I do know what you mean. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the true winner here. I was down like 60. What did I, have, what did I ever I'm, I'm do to you, Dan? <laughs> I'm just redirecting traffic. No, you know? hey, <laughs> you, Deflecting points. Uh, yeah. that's, it worked. It worked. Seven. I thought you were winning. You own me in every fucking hand. 700. One circular motion, Dan. I call. Call seven. Dan, Henry's fucking yeah. everyone up. Henry ruins everybody, man. Fuck this. Five hundred. Five in the dark. Five in the dark. I mean, dark bedding. He's feeling himself. <laughs> <laughs> he swagged out today. Oh, fuck you up, Henry. So top pair for <laughs> Dylan. Damn. <laughs> Raises it up here. Oh, you get a one? Henry not done with this yet. Uh, twice, uh, three times. <laughs> Henry picks up okay. outs to a flush as well as his overcard outs. Art can, Art can be the biggest loser when the game's over. Dude. Has, oh, has, for sure, dude. He has all the potential. Oh, dude, I'm a beast, bro. <laughs> Dylan's pair of eight's still good, though. I'm a beast. I can just. <laughs> just like make two pair. And Henry has die. one of the worst hands he would ever. For sure. Arrive here with. For sure. I mean, he and Dylan. 
can be pretty bluffable under the right circumstances. Four large. So Henry's going to go for it. <laughs> kind of a miserable run out for Dylan's pair of eights. What if he's blocking like a pair and a pen? <laughs> Run that shit. <laughs> got a he's lost three stand up games really in a row. Believe you, Henry. Can't want to do this again. Doesn't believe Henry, but what can he beat, really? Show it. Show it. Nice bluff. <laughs> Henry didn't have to show it, of course, nice because block. he's already got his yeah, marker. He had a jack and an eight, so he probably bluffed. He bluffed. <laughs> he bluffed. I know he bluffed. It was... Ah. I'm going to go play 5-5 five five after this. Hey, let's go, man. 400 shot is on Let's go, bro. What, play 5-5? Five five? Oh, yeah. I might. I'm yeah. trying to make back 20 kids. Hell, yeah. Art, I believe, started in the 5-5 the five five streets here in L.A. Ticket 1,000. Won some tournaments pretty quickly, worked his way up. But definitely a big, big success story for the mid-stakes grinders out there. Check. Henry just picking off pot after pot. And opens. Henry just calls the nines. Tom in there as well. And that's a straight for Tom. He's going to dog bet. I think this is okay, although given how aggressive Dan is, I wouldn't mind checking. Henry picks up some outs here. Checks back after Tom checks. So pretty unconventional line here. Tom has a pretty clear value bet. Two thirds pot. Henry's still with an over pair, but he's sneaky, doesn't beat a whole lot. Can't beat any five or eight. Does let it go. Tom gets a marker. Nice fold by Henry. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot of cards. Long seat. 
So we're down to Art and Dylan in the stand-up game. The second blind. Henry defends. That changes everything. That was magic. That changes everything. That was the sixth trick. Is that your real name, Henry? But do you know him? Yeah. I shouldn't say that. You're dealing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Henry is still with the best of it. You got a cap right there. That's Tom like with a six cap. now. <laughs> All right, DLRL. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Of course not. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Make them disappear. Yep. You make all your ship disappear, bro. <laughs> That's where if I reload and get aces, I get held in on the whole on the room. <laughs> Dude, the first time he dealt, I got fucking kings in the big one. And I was like, man, you, you got fucked. You got me fucked. <laughs> Henry snaps this off. Ace from space. Wins an AK pot. Oh, yeah, I would have been in there like 40 yeah, yeah. times already. I would have been in there when Henry bluffed you. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I was soon. Yeah. Oh, you were soon? I would have for sure been in there. Oh, yeah. Shadow. Yeah. on for 400. I don't know. So Art with Suited Gapper. Make it 1600. Henry knows that Art can be pretty out of line here, but doesn't have much of a hand to do anything with. So Art's going to get a marker, and Dylan is, for the fourth consecutive time, going to lose the stand up game. Oh, that was the last one? I didn't even realize that was the last one. All right, buttons, please. Brutal. Okay, you did. I didn't realize that was the last one. Defense. No, I, I had no idea. 57 Johnson says, Charlie, what's the biggest tip you have seen to a dealer in HCL? Oh, you know, I don't know. Uh, sometimes the, the, the camera's not really on that. <laughs> Look what I found here. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> eight, eight, eight. And I'm not Chinese. He's never going to see this coming. Nope. <laughs> you and I said Queens. I didn't think you had 600. I didn't say the eight. Great, 600. I, I thought you were going. I, when I started reading the question, I thought it was asking uh, here at Hustler. I was going to say that just yesterday I saw a guy tip a dealer $100 in the 5 5 10 game, which is pretty, pretty generous. But yeah, Mr. Beast tipped a huge amount to Lauren, right? To someone. Check. Check. Hat tip to uh, Hiroshi Takeda on that. Check is good. Check. Check. So two pair for Adam. Henry with a gut shot. 
14. 14 hundo. So Adam gets his marker. All right, Lawrence, uh, good luck. Thank you. Everyone. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Anybody had anything? So Henry, draw. Right way up at the top, up $82,000. Dan down 48000 L, who's out of the game, lost 38000 I shoved, though, you're right. I guess uh, I gotta wear a stack for Art stuck $1,600, which I'm sure he's fine with, for having been down 50 plus at one point. Dan, the most active player, Crawling back over. followed closely by Tom and Henry. I need, a, I need a double Art when the 400's on. It's only like 22 big ones. It's not that big of a deal. You're good for it. I can pull with like two rounds Six. until like 500. <laughs> Be even. I call. Flush draw for Dylan, top pair for Tom. Surprising to see Tom check twice here. Where are you from? One advantage to doing that is that you can induce bluffs, but Dylan's not a huge bluffer. Um, yeah, Does give it a shot this time, though. 10 to 15 times a year. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Tom's gonna raise here. Thinks he's good, puts in some money. Doing in China. And uh, Dylan so quickly out of the way. Oh, nice. And then my friend Chinese, and I just want to go visit him. You play the tournaments? Huh? Which tournaments did you play? Uh, the 20K, the 25K, and the 40K. Yeah. I should have stayed and played the main. I regret it. Any good runs? Yeah, I, I chopped a big one of the big 25Ks for the Millie. Nice. Yeah. Not a bad day. Not a bad day. How much you made? A Millie? No way. 980, 988 or something. Oh, congratulations, man. Six. 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 What, like last week? Th this week? Yeah, like last week. I'm Six. sending you a 6K, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's all in crypto, I so what are you gonna do? Six. I'm just, I'm just, I'm too tired. If I was like not tired, I think I would put more money on the table. Trying to be, trying to be rich forever. Not like Art. Hell no, bro. <laughs> Art's so broke, he calls all him a king guy. <laughs> bro, it's, it's all, or, it's all or nothing for me at this point. Yeah, like, that was like his whole net worth. Hell you know, yeah. What king guy? You saw how, how, how excited I was. <laughs> You're like, well, I guess I call. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'm sure you're doing well, Art. <laughs> They're actually wearing a Trident, so they don't pay you until the whole series is over. Oh, is that right? So I gotta wait like a couple more weeks to get uh, to get some USDT. Yeah, you like send them USDT and they send you back. I don't know. Yeah, that seems a little sketchy. I don't know. Like, Trident is the most least. No, used. no, no. I know it is, oh, but like, I just like the, the way that would make you wait. The like, most, they run the best program I've ever seen. Like yeah. they're so, they're so. No, they're like, they're really good. Like on the they're bubble, really like they'll come and be like, or like even like eight off the money, they'll come and be like, yo, this hand, this table only is like two hands behind, so we're gonna let them play two hands. Oh wow. Like yeah, there's no stalling. They don't fuck Give around. Give me the pot. Yeah. Damn. Go down. Henry wins a small one, small one with a Great seven. Style. Other oh, dealers are like, uh, are like sick too. So mm -hmm. there's like a, they got like a bunch of like hot little girls running around. Here. <laughs> that's, nice. that's great. 
Adam talking about his experience at Triton just recently. I felt bad. I was like flirting with this one the other. Mm-hmm. And then I was talking to her last day, and she's like, yeah, I'm married. My husband sure. deals. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, oops. Yeah, <laughs> I told her on stream, I was like, you can have my last name any day. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I think that's flashed art. Maybe. I didn't it did. see it, but... I mean, whatever. Did you see it? Bro, well, I'm like fucking half asleep. I don't okay. know. <laughs> I guess not. But it definitely flashed like crazy. I know. Race. Yeah. You must like it. No. No. Was it a color? No. No color? So it looked like a color. Color card. So Henry raises. Dan defends. 8 4 off. I had exactly. You had like a red or black card. That's what I saw. I thought like one red or one black. Are you showing it? You already have a button? Ace Queen. Oh, I have a button. Oh. Making a lot of good hands today. Yeah. Where's Nick Airball at? He heard Art was coming and. Is that what happened? He didn't want to win 60k on a 5 5 3 flop. <laughs> this time I'm gonna have it. Ace slide? Yep. <laughs> Threes? Yep. I heard he's playing. Oh, Strato. He's playing in uh, Austin. Oh, okay. He's having the big games at the Lodge this week. Nice. He's just traveling, playing everywhere. That was a straddle, right? Yeah. So race from Dan, Henry calls. Dan looking for his marker, Henry already has his. Not much additional hope for Dan here. But he continues firing. And gets it through. Just keep batting, just keep batting. So we're down to Art and Dylan, and it has been so long since Dylan won a hand. Just a very long time. He's not even like leaning forward. He's like leaning on the side playing. Whenever some guy's leaning like this, it's a lockup. This is like the lockup set. The gal fold. It's actually funny. So when I, the, the one where I chopped it or whatever, I got bluffed so hard, like in so many times on TV. It was so funny. Everybody's just bluffing the shit out of me and getting away with it. It was awesome. <laughs> I'll look it up. I just fold it, fold it, fold it. How many days did you play for that? Two days. Two days? Yeah. It was only two days. They're like turbo structure. They're really good. Oh. Two. I became good friends with Phil Maggie. That's kind of cool. I've heard of him, yeah. <laughs> Limp three bet here from Tom. Knows Dan is a little bit out of control. I, I filled my GG account. Not big on folding. I was like, look, you guys can't be able to fold or fold for complaining the same against the game. Quite big on raising. Are you looking for this? So I sent the email. They're looking into it for me. So I mean, they, like, represent Gigi. Yeah, they're, they're, like, big. All right. He calls the King Jack off. And Henry... Maybe he could get in there as well. He does. 33,000 already in the middle. Let's play a huge pot with some not very good hands. Mm. 
Nobody hits that flop especially hard. Dan with a gutter. Okay. Tom does not bet against two opponents out of position. On a board, both of them could hit pretty hard, All right. even though neither of them did. For real. Checks through. So Tom's going to take a shot at this. All right. Dan calls Henry out of the way. These players are both in no man's land here. Three hearts out there now and almost 60,000 in the middle. One of the bigger pots of the night. Nobody has anything. to think Dan has anything too great. But running a bluff, like a big bluff here, does still feel pretty wild from Tom's perspective. He does check. Dan now with King High does have one heart in his hand. That's okay. Pretty much the bottom of his range. Is he going to go for it? One. He does. All in. Just over pot. $63,000. Gutsy bluff from Dan, and <laughs> I'm pretty surprised Tom hasn't folded yet. There he goes. So nice bluff by Dan. You look like you want to show one. You got a good one to show? Show one. We <laughs> <laughs> see it by the time we drive home. <laughs> 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 Stop him on the highway. <laughs> Send him a text. You Fucking asshole. Cup. Every hand. <laughs> nah, I'd, give you, I'd give props. Yeah, you'll like that one. It'd be like, well done. Ten jack? Pocket tens. Oh, you have to show a jack. bluff. <laughs> Pocket tens. Pocket tens. One time. Dan's aggression sometimes gets the best of him, but... Man, does he seem hard to play against. Art's going to try to get one through, and he does. And so Dylan is going to lose the stand-up game for the fifth consecutive time. Oh, my God. 
god. Again, he was the last one? Brutal. I mean, I haven't seen a card above a nine in a fucking year. Neither has art. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're, 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 just, you're better than me, though. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, crazy, guys. You gotta, I know. You gotta, they gotta believe you I know. at this point. I know. I know. Let me know your heads hey, up. Henry. I know. I know. Bro. I know. I just haven't had a spot to you do You can't do that Jewish on Jewish Armenian okay. thing, bro. Is it on? Dylan, yeah, classy and defeat. I know you guys stick up for each other, but yeah. god damn. <laughs> I'm gonna take a two minute break. I'll be right back. Hopefully, I make two pair again. Jeez. Can I get some whites? I had a fucking king, man. Appreciate you. Not hand, not hand. I think he's coming back. You can go four and eight. <laughs> That's big. Possibly. Thank you. I'm scared. You're nervous today or something. What's going on with you? I don't know what it is. He's making you nervous. She's telling a lot. You are. Yeah. 600. It's got to be you because she never does this. I almost did something. Do you have anything when she like exposed the king but then turned like a nine meter straight? Turned a jack? Like 10 queen, three red pot or something? Was this a while? Like I don't, I don't remember when. Is it when I act, I accidentally opened a? No. I opened oh, okay. you 3-bet, I called, and then the flop came, and then I check called, and then she burned the king mm -hmm. exposed, mm -hmm. and then the jack hit, like ace-king still was yeah. in nuts. Yeah. Ace-king got there. Oh, oh, did I have anything? Uh, and mine was no. straight. Uh, no? no? Oh, man. She but the, the, the jack was a very nice turn card. She gave me a chance to win the pot. Oh, okay. I almost led the yeah. turn. <laughs> well, I guess it done it. Again, betting for value here. You want to call the king tender? I don't know, what was in the pot? You bet 36 and you shot he raised, like 18,000 He went all in the pot. He raised, he basically raised pot all in. Like 18K more? It was, it was, the pot was like 10K already. Yeah. Seems like a fold. Nit. You have king high, bro. Nit. I mean, I would think it's a fold. Should we do 100 for the staff? Yeah. I'm gonna give it 100. What happened to like the collection pot and stuff? They've been doing it. No, they yeah, haven't. Every dealer changed, they've been doing it. 
Who the hell's been paying? One of you guys keep losing. Yeah. I'm just paying the tips for stuff. Hundred for the staff. Oh. Can I give you a hundred? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everyone's in. Uh-huh. I'm too delirious today, so. I don't this know what. From the table. I don't know what I'm throwing in these days. Seven. Seven hundred. Art's got Quing, as Joe Stapleton used to call it. And Dan will not be folding this hand. Dan hits a six. Let's it go. Nothing, huh? Picking around. Maybe you add something. I want to make a 2K. I think it works. Stayed in the hotel in the casino. It was nice. It was really nice. They had a theme park, a water park, but the yeah. water park was closed. They had an arcade room in the back with like the basketball game. That was there every day, just fucking around, getting my hoop on. Was it like like win like win uh, level or nicer? The hotel. Like the casino was like really small, but it was like super super nice. Like mm. super nice. Like probably nicer than the win overall. Yeah. yeah. Like the atmosphere was. And the, and the hotel? The room? They were pretty good. They were, they were really good, actually. They were, yeah. they were nice rooms, yeah. No Art gets a marker. Hey, uh... I want to go to one of them. Dude, you should check it out. It's good. They had, like, cash games, too. They had, like, the high... <laughs> I don't think they had cash games. Right? No? There was just, I mean, they might, um, and they just, like, invite certain people to it, you know? But mm-hmm. I didn't stay long enough for Brady and I to go down for me. That would be fun to play. Go play with Phil Nagy and Santos. Yeah. <laughs> They're sick. Santos Dude, was there. I wonder who won the, the, the main. What you call was the chip leader? Uh, John Noel Thornton? Uh, I don't know who that is. John Thornton? Who's that? Six. He can't, he can't, he like, he's like, oh, um, colorblind, he can't even see his board. Really? What do you see from Tom? I don't know. Is he cool? Is he fun to watch? He's chill. He was at my table. He's like this chill guy. I think he's colorblind. I think some, some player told me that. Or, or he just has, like, hard eyes. Sure. Yeah. Dan with a three bet. Dan so uh, incredibly Dan active like with these three seven, bets. Four, nine, Tom nine, just calls. Four, I wonder if, if he might nine, consider a yeah. four bet there. That's pretty sick. He just thinks he has a plus every hand, everyone's folding. Yeah, you can just get a Tom's going to go for the raise here. And Dan can't really continue, so Tom gets a marker. Oh, back there. Back 
Not that good. So I believe we're down to Dylan and Adam. And Dylan has won the last five rounds, or excuse me, lost the last round, five rounds of the stand-up game now. And the game's been on continuously, so it's it's probably been hours since Dylan has won a hand, playing six-handed. Which I get it, it happens, but it's got to be incredibly not fun. And he's got ace-10 here. 2,000. All right, here we go. Let's go Dylan. And now Adam's going to limp shove. Can I get a quick count? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think it's eight exactly. Say it exactly. And the problem is that I have? No way. even with the stand-up game on and with these two players being the last two without a marker, Dylan is likely to be tighter than any other player at the table at this, in this exact spot. All right, I call. Sounds like you have a much better hand than me. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll your hand. Yeah, I think I, I'm ahead, I think. So $17,000 pot. That's you. That's twice. you. Go for twice. it. Right. We'll run twice. Adam's kind of stepped in it here. Is this for the game, right? Yeah. I'm about to be stuck and stuck. <laughs> Would you have King Jack officers? There's a 10 in the window. No. Damn, way worse than that. I have an ace. ace. Oh, wow. You left the ace five officer and just ripped it in. Wow, that's a bad card for me. <laughs> five. <laughs> that's me. What a beast. <laughs> <Called> <laughs> Dylan wins the first run out, so he is not going to lose the stand-up game. That dishonor will go to Adam. Ooh. This is nice thing. Going through and it to Dylan, bro. He's a nice kid. Adam needs a cool. five here. Ooh. Can't find one, so... Dylan's going to win this whole pot. Avoids losing the stand-up game for the sixth time in a row. Oh, my God. So, what do you mean, chop? You want me 500? Give him. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. So, Dylan is in a new movie out today called Prey. Like $30,500. $30,500? $30,500? He had not eaten Whoa. for a while what? before winning that pot just now against Adam. I think that minimum was like 5000 here. I don't have to buy it for all that much. Okay, all right. <laughs> Nonetheless, Dylan, second biggest winner, way behind Henry, though, up 72000 L, who's no longer here, is biggest loser so far. Adam now stuck 29K. Not ace four, not ace five. I'm not ace five. Hey, there's a five on the board. On the, no, on the, on the top one, there's a 10. Now there was a 10. I didn't see that, though. My bad, Adam. <laughs> My bad, big bro. Unlucky. These two old school LA regs needling each other. Can I get some chips still? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I think that's three. Oh, you gave me two already? Oh, sorry, sorry. So 
goes straight for Henry. Not much for Adam. Just rebuy for 30,000 after sitting for quite a while with less than 10. Pays it off with just ace high. Is it me? Yeah. Race from Art and Adam just calls. And very nice flop for Adam, but two pair for Henry. In there with the 10 7 off. Checks through Adam and Henry, hoping Art would bet. Adam checks again. Oh, wow, Henry checks again as well. What is going on? Lots of money should be in this pot. And it's checking through all the way to the river. And Adam gets there. But it's the king of clubs, which completely, not completely, but greatly diminishes his chances of getting action from Henry. And he's going to bet 10% pot. I don't understand how this pot is so small. It would be wild if Henry just folded here. He's going to call Art out of the way, and Adam wins. Pretty small pot here. After both the flop and the turn, checked all the way around despite Adam and Henry both having monster hands. Henry, certainly no stranger to putting lots of money in pots, but I'm, I, I'm quite surprised to see him check on the turn in particular. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> We're all waiting for you. Ace 10? No, I had a 10 7. Flop two pair? Yeah, flop two pair. Two pair, oh, wow. I bet you raised probably. Maybe call. On the turn, you mean? 
Uh, on the flop. I don't think you're better than that flop ever, are you? He kind of weird just to bet that flop. <laughs> you're like, I, don't think, I, can't impact, I can't picture a world where he just bets his flop. Just... No action for Henry with the no, aces. I really almost did it, man. We were, I think we were both just Fuck for <laughs> Fuck Art. Who cares about? Mm. Fuck he has, little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna fold. Yep. Yeah. Adam got top of the shit. draw. <laughs> Turn your hands to a bluff. I was thinking about it. Nah. No. I'm giving you a chance to. Yeah. <laughs> I was just hoping someone. I, I thought you could have a king sometime. You probably raise a lot. I think I got unlucky that you just didn't have anything. <laughs> it's awfully loud, huh? It got a lot louder recently. It's just, just literally a Just like, like a second ago, yeah, yeah. like it got way louder. Three bet from Dan. in the chat pointing out that Henry lost the absolute minimum in that hand. Well, that's true, but only because he didn't put money in the pot when he had the best hand. I don't know if he gets credit for that. The power of the button. Don't want to be too hard on Henry here. Certainly he's played more than his share of very big pots here on HCO. Just a, a, a really weird pot that happened one time. That's unfortunate, right? That's a good hit. It's an awfully good fucking hand, I think. Is that it? Easy, mijo. So raise from Adam. Tom in there. Dan with his billionth three bed of the day. Henry wakes up with ace jack. Feels like a pretty strong hand given the circumstances. Henry, not afraid here. Cold four bet here, the ace jack. 9,500. And that'll take it down. So don't forget, every last Monday of the month, you can play on Max Payne Monday with a lucky seat drawing here at Hustler. So if you're, if you come down to Hustler Monday afternoon and you're playing poker, you can be staked for $5,000 on Max Payne Monday.
free bet from Dan again. That second consecutive hand with King Nine. This time he suited. And again, he's going to get cold four bet. Dan has to be a little bit annoyed. Oh. Makes the call. This is for a question. Art now out of position in a four bet pot. Has a hand that's good a lot of the time. Pretty awkward spot. Five large. He's going to bet small. Adam, your collection. 235. 235? Yeah. Dan with some back doors. Sticks around. Dan picks up some backdoor straight outs. Art's hand certainly feels like it wants to check here. Check is good. Dan does not bluff. Pretty surprised to see Dan get to that point in the hand and then not bluff. Not impossible for King High to be good, but pretty hard. And Art I think probably has a check here for the same reasons he checked the turn. He bets I can see him going quite small. Yeah, quarter pot. Sort of a blocker slash value bet. Dan makes the fold here. So Art picks up a marker. So I think Henry, Art, and Adam now have markers. <laughs> Leaving Dylan, Tom, and Dan. Trying to raise the 7500 for that drop the chip back here. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, but. Learn my, learn my lesson. Hmm? Learn my lesson. Dylan with a three bet. Nice on He's had so little to work with these past couple hours. He's going to get a marker. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you would have. That happens. You're, you're definitely. <laughs> so we're down to Tom and Dan. Uh, just, uh, that means you had <laughs> like a draw, but then you, you were thick. Five high? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I just had yeah, disgusting yeah. thoughts that, that should not have been there at all. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. Yeah, no it would have worked. They weren't that disgusting. Yeah. yeah, I had a really bad hand to call. <laughs> if you bet, you would have fucked me up.
1400. Race from Adam. Dan makes the call. Hoping to make something happen here. I believe we've played the stand-up game nine times and Dan has not lost yet. But he's in danger this time. He and Tom, the only players without a marker. So Adam raises and both the players lacking markers make the call. And a jack for Tom. Tom takes one down, and Dan's going to lose this round of the stand-up game. Say 3:30. I have a cell phone, but they fucking take it. They make you sign cell a paper and then they take your phone. That's how you always put it. Like, cell phone. But like, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say? I just want a million. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't buy. I don't buy accessories. Until you get robbed, dude. They'll no rob your ass in Beverly Hills. Go. Well, I dare you to go into Beverly yeah, Hills. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I oh. dare you to go to Beverly why Hills. Would I go, why would I go to Beverly Hills? I don't know. Go fucking. Go to Jones on third and eat breakfast, I dare you. <laughs> I won't be going. Toast. I know I never go out wearing uh I never go out in public wearing nice stuff. Tell him you don't know about toast. Oh toast? I know about toast. I was there recently. Off the third, right? That's yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. They'll pick that wash so fast, man. Them boys that be sit outside of toast. Them boys yeah. that be kicking it outside of toast. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No, this box is like 2K, dude. Yeah, yeah. easy. It's easy 2K, yeah. <laughs> Easy so a limp no one, spot. No me? Ah, damn and it, no fucking raise magic. Two pair for Henry. The limp raise didn't fucking work. Flush draw for Adam. Whoa. No limp re raise. God damn. Almost had a limp re raise. It hasn't worked well so far. Oh. I might have. I almost raised you when you had a jack seven offset though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's up. Adam picks up a few more outs to a straight here. 2,500. Oh. 
Let's go. Right there. And nothing there for Adam. Gonna to try to induce a bluff here. Adam has a terrible hand. Gonna bet almost pot. And with hearts bricking, has it seems to me like a pretty straightforward call. There it is. And Henry wins a pot of 21,000. dynamic between Art and Adam has been pretty funny. Right? One of these days I'm going to set over set you, Henry. I think. It's going to be fucking great. I think with set over set it could happen either way. <laughs> There's no control. I think it'd be stationed there now. All, all you need is top pair against Henry. <laughs> You're fucking golden, bro. <laughs> I don't need to do the river a fucking straight. <laughs> Respect. Heads up. Check. Top pair for Adam. Check, check. Adam gets a marker, joining Henry. Six. 
Grace from Tom. Dylan makes the call. Check. Tom gets a marker. Hunter. Oh. <coughs> <Chill> out. <laughs> it's his trademark. Three way. Race from Dan, two calls, and Dan with the king of clubs. And Dan gets it through. So we're down to Art and Dylan. So race from Dan, three calls, and a squeeze from Adam. So Dan's going to continue, and that should bring in some other players as well. We could play quite a bloated pot here. Art in there now as well. And you can kind of tell from Dylan's body language that he does not like the situation, but he makes the call. 19,000 in there. And a big draw for Adam. Not a whole lot for anybody else. A couple gut shots. Art's got middle pair but this is a very winnable pot for Adam. He's only got 23,000 back. Has the kind of hand where he could just ship it in right now. There's a lot out there to win and he's not doing badly against anything really. Six large. 
He's going to bet small, which is going to limit his fold equity on future streets. Kind of annoying for Dan. Yeah, he gets out of the way. And Adam's betting five ways. He kind of has to have something here. Jack 10 of clubs does not feel very strong in this context, even though we can see that it's the best hand. Fold. And understandable fold for Art. And Dylan out of the way as well. Yeah, good hand. Let's see it. Let's see it. Wow. Whoa. Oh, wow. Flush. Wow. Flush. Wow. Good hand. Nice 20K. Nice good. Huh. Fucking shove free club. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Yes. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. How did I miss that shit? Oh, damn. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to put him in free club. <laughs> huh? What did you have, Henry? Mm -mm. Eight, nine seven? Hearts. Oh, eight, nine of hearts. God damn it. What did you have, Art? I had, a, I had a good hand, but I knew you fucking had a good hand, bro. You, there's no way you're fucking betting 16 people on that board. So you had an ace. My cards played themselves. You couldn't have folded an ace. That's pretty good. No, I didn't have an ace. Of course you had an ace. I had a ten. Huh? Ten. A 10? Out of 10, yeah. Never mind. Just 10. Maybe. Alright, Jack, 10 suited. Maybe a, a 10 in a flush draw. Jack, yeah. 10 suited. Nah, hell no. <laughs> Raise from Art, and Art and Dylan are the last players remaining in the stand up game. Finally. I got a pot. Nice one. And Dylan's going to lose it. The stand up game has been quite unkind Catch to Dylan out. tonight. <laughs> Lost five games in a row at one point. Plus, Dylan was behind, maybe, you know. Uh, Two away. You folded, yeah. and Dylan started attacking. I was like, fuck, he has ace 10 yeah. again. Yeah. Here uh, we go. I ain't folding. Twice? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I can't queen, but I just. I don't yeah, yeah. Know. The dealer picked me on that one. Yeah, literally. If Dylan wasn't in the hand, I was closing action, I might have folded. I mean, I'm shoving turn. Yeah, and then I just fold like a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> but I need a fold stuff, you know? I'm the turn. I don't know. It might turn too fast. Yeah. Am I doing? Yep. <sighs> it's very interesting, yeah, we're honestly. Uh, we're not on, right? We are. Well, Henry's well, not in. Well, Henry's uh, yeah, not in. You might want to wait for him. Oh, I'm waiting for Henry for sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, yeah that's fucked up if he's sitting there. So no stand-up game on for this particular hand. I'm gonna wait for Henry to come back from the bathroom. Supposed to say, oh, of course, though. Oh, of course. So good. Sheriff Dylan. Shout out to Less Dead, gifting a chat membership. Stand up on. Right? Uh, yeah. 500 shadows. We waited for you. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah. All right, game's on, everyone. So now we'll start the stand up game. Thirty-five hundred. 
So a three bet from Tom and Henry wakes up with the ladies. <laughs> that sounded dirtier than I intended. He's got queens anyway, and he's going to be four betting. Yeah, how much chips does he have? Um, did you see? Sixty-five around. Check it out. You're not as tired as me, there's no way. <laughs> That's impossible. You see my, that little dog? How cute is that little dog? Is that your dog? My roommate's dog, he just got it. It's a German Shepherd, he's so cool. He looks cool, yeah. He's gonna be big too, he's gonna be a big little boy. Yeah, it's cute. I Henry, have, like, deep in the tank here. He just calls, wow. Like, uh, oh. he just calls. wow. Did not expect that. And I'm not totally sure what the reasoning is. Maybe he feels like he can win more from Tom by calling here and getting Tom to barrel. But I don't know if that's the case with Dylan also in the hand. Four K from Tom. Henry just calls Dylan out of the way. Tom doesn't pick up anything else here. Check, check. And Queen's still good. Queen's. Check, check. Huh. Henry trying to trap his aggressive opponents a little bit. What a way to win the minimum. Thank you. What a life. Doug life. And you got minimum value? Minimum value. That's fucking well played. You just both pull free? Well fucking played, yeah. See, I wasn't playing around. I really was I really was gonna raise. And then I I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, I was confused with the fake out there. I know, I know. It was a genuine fake. I'm two, right? Yeah. Well, I, I, I was, were there hearts out there? I don't know. Metro Boomin? I actually, I had a suited queen. I made a tight school. Thank God. That's the time you gotta get a telecommunication. Lockup mode. Yeah, I do. Five under. Eighteen under. We bet here from Dan. Oh. Flush draw for Dan. Pair of trays for Tom. Yeah. I should have pulled the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the button though, whatever. You don't pull for a lift? Put the stand up on? Oh. I guess I can pull, but I don't know. I told him, man. I don't blame you. Check. I had a button. I can see why you would come. I see your argument. If it's something like that, yeah, I mean, or you can just fuck everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dan keeps firing. That's a one liner out. Really hard spot to hold on with just a three. But Tom's going to try. Oh my God, Magic. What's wrong with you, Magic? You need to catch, you need to catch his hands outside, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'll wait for him, buddy. <laughs> Tom with a very sneaky Queens up here. Pretty great card for him, especially because it's the kind of card where Dan could consider firing a third time. I feel like you, you watch too much Dave Chappelle stuff. You know what I'm talking about? A little bit, a little bit. There's like an episode where like the dude's like writing him a letter and then like and he goes, you know what I'm talking about? I'm thinking of Birdman, bro. He has that looks on. Looks yeah, like he's. Going to bet. Keeps looking down at his chips. Uh, and there it is. 18, Tom still loses to aces and kings, but. This is a great run out for him, and Dan can have all kinds of stuff. For like 38 hours. Quick call. <laughs> and Tom's going to win a 61K pot. That probably would have worked from Dan if Tom had had any kicker with his three except a queen. Thank you, buddy. straddle on. Adam Snowman just calls So Tom and Dan come in as well. 9,800 already in there. And an eight in the window for Adam. Check. Dan with top pair and a gutter. Check. Adam. Slow playing again here. Four this large. time he does get his opponent to bet. Does he raise here or just call? Lots of stuff to get value from. Up. 
There's the Rays. 13-8. Pump it up to 13,800. Adam putting in about a third of his chips. Dan is ahead of some combo draws, but he's not really doing that well against anything. Even if Adam has, say, Queen Jack of Hearts here, he's just going to win this pot a ton of the time. And Dan folds the top pair in a gutter. Oh, but all right. Fuck. That sucks. As Adam picks up his marker. Nice fold by Dan. It's a nice pot. <laughs> 10K is 10K, guys. Yep. Plus 500. Gotta go, gotta be happy with that one. Have sixes, Art. Hmm? Just have pocket sixes. Or so on Monday, happy with Randall Emmett, Randy, Brandon really Frazier, and Sasa Bobby ho those, highlight I Max Payne Monday, 10-20-40, kind of 5 p.m. To here on Hustler yeah. Casino Live. Be sure to tune yeah, back in. Hmm? You got AK? King Queen? Get all of them. Get all of them. Options. Three thousand. Good job. <laughs> 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 See, Magic, that was a good time to say it. Oh! <laughs> 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 that was a perfect time for that one. On the hand. I should have did it. Is it me and Dylan? Just us two. Come on, Dylan. There was two. You can't win a fucking hand. <laughs> I got you, Hannah. I got you. I'm like, you can't win a hand. Am I 50? I don't know if we're supposed to tip you. I don't know how the tipping works here, but whatever. Take it. Thank you. I know we all threw like an extra hundred at some point. I don't know if that's going to it's just chips. I've never turned them into cash ever in my life. <laughs> Let's go. Five ways. So a four hundred dollar straddle on and a limp pot here. Check, check, check. And three of a kind for Dylan. Check is good. Check is good. Has a lock on this hand. Nobody else really has anything. Check. Thirteen hundred. Dylan, after checking back the flop, is going to try to get some value here, but. No one has a whole lot. Least of all art, but what's he thinking here? This would be a very funky bluff, not very credible. <laughs> and uh, art now is going to be quite glad he didn't do anything crazy. 5K. <laughs> So we're down to Art and Dan, I believe. Three five. Three five. Yeah. yeah. Four five. All right, Lawrence, back. Good luck. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, Magic. Magic. Please. Good job, Magic. Thank you, buddy. Nice job. Nice job. We got Art. Good job. We might get Art tilted, man. He might call off with King Nine again. It's a better voice. We might get him to that. I'm level. liable for that. You are liable. I said this time it's gonna be for like sixty thousand. <laughs> we might miss. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna go bink bink. 
Ay, ay, ay. Sneaky check on the flop on there. I was seeing if I could get a little bit of uh, action there, but yeah. you know, it doesn't always work. Race from Art, who's trying to avoid losing the stand-up game. He's going to get three-bet here by Dan. the call. Small bet from Dan. And Art with backdoor diamonds, not a lot else going on. And he's got an opponent who does not give up easily. He lets it go, and Art's going to lose this round of the stand-up game. How much is it? 250, I'll give you that. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Round about 250. So Art lost the first round he played. Has not lost one since then until now. Henry up almost 100,000. Tom up 20K. Dan now stuck 71K. With Dylan, Adam, and Art hovering around even. Dan playing 47% of hands. Henry and Tom both at 40 or above. Eight. Eight. Oh. Everybody pretty active. Art playing 33% of hands. Adam raises two calls. And a monster draw for Adam. Okay. On a paired board, but still. Art, though, with nut clubs. Not nut clubs, ace high clubs, you know what I mean. Checks around. Adam takes a shot at this on the turn. And Art makes the call. Third player would have had sixes full, right? Anyway, Adam ends up here with Jack High.
I think a bet here would be reasonably credible as a value line. He's going to go huge. Over bet here from Adam. This is a bigger bet than his stack was for large portions of the night. Art thinking about doing something here with just ace high. But he lets it go. So a nice bluff from Adam. I could never make a fucking draw. You didn't want to make that one. Today, Henry, I'm going to make a draw. Huge draw. Huh? Huge draw. I know. Where's pocket nines with no nine of clubs when I need it? Someone out of pocket now. River Nugget Club. This is like my only bluff, though. Not too many bluffs. Race from Henry. Dylan calls. And Henry flops trips. Well, no one continuing here. Huh? I think only stuck five hundred. Only stuck five hundred dollars. Uh, was stuck forty something thousand maybe. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Twenty six. No, it's 35. Not bad. Small for this game. I mean, the way Chip moves in this game. But, uh, Chip's moving lots. Wow, terrible run out for Dylan. It's a deuce on the turn and now a king on the river. Almost a pot size bet from Henry. And well, you've looked me earlier, but I don't know if I can get away from this. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, you know, why Dylan played the hand this way if he wasn't going to make this call. Five. Five Loses a nineteen thousand dollar pot. Have a value hand. <laughs> I swear. I've like, man, I got a good draw. <laughs> the whole time you're like, oh, it's a sick draw. Oh, it's a sick draw. All night. All I don't night. think I made one draw. We like ran the King Jack of Spades. I missed all my draws. Great. Oh, give me one value hand, please. They had to give me the king on the end, just too. One. That's so sick. One value. So Actually, sick. I had a set of eights. Oh, double. I had a set of eights. Three straddle. That was a value hand. Straddle and reshuttles, 800 right now. 24. 24. Well done, Henry. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. Congratulations. <laughs> Art bumps it up. Tom and Dan call. See, you gotta play tournaments, Henry. You keep making value hands like this. Yeah. You get in the tournament. Oh man, you get all the chips. Let me get the fuck. Gutter for Dan. Ace high, still the best hand. Check. 
I notice I see a lot of hustler guys play tournaments. I don't really like tournaments, man. Like, like uh, they're too long, you know. I, I don't. They got some good one-day ones. Like Pride is good. It's fast, actually. Yeah. Yeah, and you can enter like late. You can enter with 20 big lines. Get in there, zip it in, double up, chill out, cash. <laughs> just play one and play the main event this year. And that's such a thing. You can't play the main event and then think tournaments are like that. That's the most grindingest, longest tournament ever. I can't even. I play, I play terrible in that tournament because it's just it's too long. Tom goes for the race here. Checks it over to Dan and then goes for the race. This is very funky. It's too brutal. Don't play like a turbo. Like a 5k turbo, a 10k turbo. You know? Those are like way more better. Poker Glow has good like 10k too in their studio. Aren't they all like the same 12 guys there? No, it's like an 80. And Dan makes the call with just a gutter. Only has three clean outs to the nuts. And that's one of them. So put a ton of money in on that flop. And now has Tom drawing dead. And it's unfortunate for Dan that Tom doesn't actually have anything. So Tom checks it. And Dan bets huge here. It would be pretty weird if Tom were going for a double check raise. He does give it up. It's just, yeah, like, but to go deep, you have to run so well for so long. So long. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, really good at every spot. Like, it's impossible to almost do it. Like, one misstep for all exactly. your chips, you can out. run so well and just one. Yeah, and, and then you, you get out on day three, you don't cash. You know what I mean? It's like. That's why I like turbos, you, you know? <laughs> turbos are lit. The one day, like, one day 10K, stuff like that. 100 the people. one you won was a turbo? Uh, no, it was a two day. Yeah, two day. Two day. I think it was. 35 minute levels? Or 40 minute levels? How many entries? <clears throat> 300 basically. 299 or something. I got bluffed by like Michael Adamo. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Everybody's bluffing me. I heard a lot about him and then lately I haven't, I haven't heard anything from him. He's still, I he's still he playing, okay huh? Trident. Yeah. I think he had an okay Trident. I felt like I... But he was, like, coming up. Everybody was like, oh, he's the next best, whatever. <clears throat> he won, like, 20 million in one year, yeah. Really? Gotcha. He cashed for, tw or cashed for 20 million. Or and I heard he has just, like, all of his action. He doesn't sell. He just, like, has all of himself. And never swaps. Never does anything. A lot of guys swap and sell and all this stuff. Reba from Dan. Art's in there. Yeah. So, uh, mm. I swapped with two guys like five percent. Oh, okay. Um, when we were like really deep. That's not. That's not as. We were all deep too, so it's yeah. not like I had to give him five percent total. Yeah. They, Did he make of, anything off of the their five? Or? Well, one of the guys cashed for half a million, so I only had to oh. give him five percent of five hundred k. Okay. Well, it's not that bad. Right. Tom with the best hand. Yeah, he got fourth, and I got, and then we all three chopped three ways. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was 25 big blinds, 26 big blinds, 27 big blinds. So, a little bit. A little bit, like nothing. We got officially the... And then we played for 100K. We played for 100K. And I, I got, I lost. I lost like a big flip. And then, I was out, basically. Tom's actually got a four bet here. 18-2. 
Sort of a four bet bluff here. But we see he has the best hand. Tom and Dan are going at it. And so aggressive, and Tom has pretty good hand to take a stand with. Art out of the way as well, and Tom <laughs> takes down his marker. Nicely played by Tom. I didn't even realize. He's a fun to lose stupid game. Yeah, that's pretty bad for only 500 bucks. <laughs> See, I told you. You're not good when you don't have to do it. Now you're going to play good. <laughs> I think that worked out pretty good. That's a nice, nice result. Nice. For sure. Dang, 10K, 10K, right? Congrats. <laughs> nah, nice one. Mm. Should have raised that. Call. Dan with a real hand now. And so is Henry has queens now. Ace king against queens from two players very capable of mixing it up. Dan has to look so full of it to all these players. He's been so aggressive, especially pre-flop. I asked my friend and he gave the contact of Ryan. And we could see a very big pot here. I, I played, I lived in Dubai before. Uh, 11-5 from Henry. Dan seems like the kind of player who will absolutely go to war with Ace King. Dan had pulled down that stack of 5k chips, now has them back on his stack. He does 4-bet. Almost a third of his chips. <laughs> Could we see a 200k pot here? going to call. So 58,000 already in the middle. Dan with 69,000 behind. And a king for Dan.
Always a beautiful feeling to be piling in money pre-flop with Ace King, go to a flop and then actually hit something. Thousand five hundred from Dan. Not a big bet, but not especially small either. I think Henry is going to feel like he has to call once. Does 101,000 in the middle now? Dan with less than half pot behind. Dan is so aggressive. One. He shoves here. Puts Queens in a pretty disgusting spot. Against a lot of players, especially when you have the queen of spades in your hand, I think you can just shrug and fold here. But Dan is just so willing to pile in money at any time. a lot of players in Henry's shoes, you're just going to be up against aces or kings or ace king a lot. 20, 30, 40, 45, 45, 46, 47, 6, 50. But Dan is a bit of a unicorn, extremely aggressive. and willing to bluff for huge amounts. Could he have something like ace five of spades here? I think the answer is, is yes. Might even have some bluffs that are a lot less natural than that one. Giant bluff earlier against Tom, excuse me, against Tom with King High. Wish I didn't have the Queen of Clubs. Queen of Spades. Henry thinks that his particular combo of Queens is not the best one. 
47, 6, 50. Henry's got the call counted out. Does not need to be good here often to make this call. About one time in four. He does call uh, whatever you like. Twice. And this is nearly a $200,000 pot to run the river out twice. Henry looking for a queen. Doesn't find one, and Dan is going to win the biggest pot of the night. Good. $197,000. Ace queen against Henry's pocket queens. Big winner all of a sudden. Good end, bro. Thanks. You didn't need set over set. <laughs> <laughs> top pair versus top pair, huh? Sick. Dan stacking up a huge pile of chips. <laughs> Henry was the big winner tonight up until that hand. That's a four inch shot. So the stand up game is still on. Only Art and Dylan are left. And it's down to the two of them. Dylan has Art dominated here. But it's Art who flops a pair. Art makes the call. And two pair now for Art, second pair for Dylan. Could still win here on a king, a seven, or an ace. Art shoves. Dylan's out a, a ton behind.
Dylan Flashner and pretty gross spot here to end the night. Twice? Twice, yeah. yeah. He calls. 35,000 in there. And Art has the best of it. Eight does not improve Dylan's hand. And Art fills up on the second run out, so he's going to stack Dylan. And Dylan is also going to lose this round of the stand-up game. Nice hand. It's done in three hands. I'll just end my day there then. That's fine. See ya. Bye, bro. So Dylan's going to head out. It's fun, bro. Yeah. See you later. See ya. Dylan, of course, has a new movie out today called Prey. Adding 50 just in case I can cool around. Do we get a stand up game, buddy? Poker. Like some days you're the predator, some days you're the prey, and today oh, Dylan was the prey. Do we get paid for send up or no? I don't know. I don't know what to do there. I think I should pay. <laughs> <laughs> you disagree? <laughs> I vehemently disagree. <laughs> That's yeah. P R E Y. Six. I gave I gave fucking Dan a thousand dollars for that and fucking look at my stack, man. Give me a break. Oh. Oh. Not low. Yeah, whatever. I mean, five hundred bucks. Man. It's just a weird spot because if I lost, I would have like Apple paid someone. <laughs> I'm serious. I would have like Apple paid you fifteen hundred and be like paid or twenty five hundred. Like, yeah, 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 but whatever, man. He had a rough day. Huh? Uh, I mean, he only lost a buy -in. Yeah, I was only in for a buy-in. Yeah, yeah, what's a rough day? For, I mean, like... Yeah, I guess uh, you're right. <laughs> in this game, that's like half a buy-in. You know what? Hey, why, why don't you tell him just, uh, I'll pay it and he'll give it to me next time. He's here? I feel weird. I don't, I don't know if I'm being cheap, but it's just like... That's, I think that's the fair thing to do. I don't know if I'm being like weird about it by saying something. No, that's the fair thing to do because if like, like if I, I literally said if I lost, I would Apple Pay you. Because <laughs> if Henry, <laughs> or, if it happens to anybody else, then you just uh, pay. You know what I mean? I, I, mean I think he's super cool and doesn't care. Like he, he's, uh, yeah. he's chill about it. I, I'm just, I don't care about that. I'm just thinking about what the right thing to do is in that spot. What do you have? A straight? I had two pair. Ah. Oh. Do you have King Guy? <laughs> What's the minimum bet? I don't care. I'll just do that. I think that's the minimum bet. The 200? I don't know. What's the minimum bet? Adam with the top pair. And now two pair. Arden, sort of the reverse of the situation he was in moments ago against Dylan. Another tiny bet from Art, and Adam's going to be raising here probably. There's the raise, and Art gets out of the way. Nice play. Mostly play just play in hustler. I play only a Oh, okay. Me too. I mean, do you play like private games in LA? Uh, <laughs> I play against the black. Super? Oh, yeah. Super? 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 Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Are you playing on like a boat? Yeah. 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 So that'll be a wrap for tonight as you see our final chip counts. Don't forget, we'll be back for Max Payne Monday after the weekend's over. 5 p.m. Dan, the most active player tonight. 46% of hands played. Henry at 42, Tom as well. 
I heard about some really good games. Dan also incredibly aggressive, 30%. L, 29% in the few hours he was here. And Dan, the biggest winner, was down at the bottom until just a few minutes ago, then won a 200K pot off of Henry. Now he's up $42,000. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. I'm Charlie Wilmoth. See you next time on Hustler Casino Live. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. $75, $50. $75, $50. Yeah. That's very kind of you. See Dylan returning to the table to pay everybody out for the stand-up game he lost. Thanks, Dylan. Classy move from Dylan. You got to come all the way back and drop off 2500 Good night, everybody. See you on Monday.